heading to Speaker's Corner in a minute. Um, so we were just setting up the camera. Um, so we're ready to walk there, so we should be there in the next five minutes or so. Um, yes, yes, yes. How's, how are you man doing? Are you, what are you man saying? Yeah. So yeah, we're going to be going to Speaker's Corner. Now, we've said this before, but we're not coming to Speaker's Corners often because it's full of dogs and swine and really a waste of time. And plus, I've done this for four years, so I mean, I've earned my stripes, you know what I mean? I was on no Soko, I was on the Sam Darwas, I've debated the guys down here. I mean, there's not we really have not debated other than Adnan Rashid. But given I have. the. Yeah, yeah, obviously Amy has. But given the fact of how Adnan Rashid copes every time he goes to the references of the Old and New Testament, I think it'll be a waste of time anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but obviously, we've invited everybody on the live streams I've been doing privately. So if you're not, you know, hitting up that live, you should. We did a live stream last night from, sorry, not last night, the night before. Okay, so that would have been Friday. We did a live stream from nine o'clock all the way until I think it was about two o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. So God bless you. God bless you. God bless DJV. Yeah, God bless. Glory to Jesus, man. This is all I want to start off doing by giving thanks to Jesus Christ and then we'll get into the word of God and his testimony as we walk through our park, you know. You know, see who speaks, right? At the end of the day, look, I, I know the commoners that come to Speaker's Corner. The average guys that come to Speaker's Corner can't debate. So I'm here, like, we're just gonna we're just gonna walk through and see who actually wants a discussion, a genuine discussion. Um, not somebody who wants to have a shouting match with me, because honestly, I'm getting too old. That's the thing, just getting too old now. I'm 29 now. 30. I'm nearly 30 now. Imagine, like, I was 25 when I first came. I'm nearly 30 now. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, it's just, it gets to a point where, you know, sometimes you just get bored. You know, it's, it's the same thing, some people. But all glory to Christ, we're going to be out here. Yeah, that is surprising. So, this is a surprising, let me show Yeah, go ahead, show This is surprisingly here, there is usually a mini mosque every single time, yeah. unless. Um, the Seventh-day Adventists or other people have taken the space over first, but they're not here today, so yeah. praise be to God. They're not here to uh, lie about Jesus, which they do with their, um, their megaphones, um, you know, and they're not here to pray to the moon god in Mecca yeah. and give Korans, which yeah. are uh, satanic books. Um, yeah, let me get, let me so get. I don't know why, but they're not here today. Anyway. Fair enough. Yeah, they're, they're not there today, but I mean, all glories of Christ, they're not, to be honest. And the park looks a bit empty as well. So I, I don't know if it's just a second Ramadan or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 53 first. You know, because of course, when we talk about our Lord Jesus Christ down at this park, we've got to be talking about, you know, who he is, you know. As our atoning lamb, as our lamb that sacrificed himself for us, and as the one who gets us admission, not only to heaven, but admission into the arms of the Father of lights who loves us dearly. We should be reading of him, sharing his word and his testimony. Okay. Who have believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root of dry ground. He have no form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, and a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. You see, many people come down here, right, and they want to, of course, be Bobites and do bobbery. For me, for Amy, we have our own characters. We don't really need to borrow from Bob. Bob did not invent evangelism. In fact, it was invented by, in 1 AD by Jesus. So <laughs> when, when people think of bobbery and they come down here and be Bob, so I'm like, look, try to have your own personality, okay? For example, I'm very cocky. That's just my personality. I'm also fat, so that's my personality as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just have your own personality when you're coming down. You don't need to be coming, and this is advice for Christians coming down to the park, right? Get your own personality. You don't need to be Bob. Bob is doing his own thing. Let him do his own thing. And in fact, Bob is a heretic who needs to repent and believe in the true gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and stop pushing Roman Catholicism and his ecumenism. 
Uh, well, do you have any thoughts on what um, the Pope said that all religions lead to God? Well, that's that's and an issue. And JC was copied in the Soko chat. Yeah, By I the mean, way, JC, the uh, yeah, the guy who runs the Soko channel, he basically is saying that it's a mistranslation from Italian, um, blah, 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 we are still here to debunk Islam. Um, so this is the response from uh, the Soko group. They can't admit that their Pope is a heretic. Yeah, so uh, as I was saying before, okay, this is the unfortunate, this is the unfortunate views of the Roman Catholics and their coping. You see, in order for Roman Catholic papacy to be true, there must be an historical head. Now, according to Unum Sanctum, Mortalium Animos and Vatican I, when the Pope speaks, that is infallible on matters of faith and doctrine. So when the Pope comes out and says all faiths are valid, and Vatican II affirms this, by the way, whereas Vatican I doesn't. Vatican I claims that you can only be saved through the papacy. I mean, we've made this very clear to different Roman Catholics and Orthodox that Vatican I makes it very clear that you can't be saved unless you're submitted to the Church of Rome. That's clear. There's no outside of salvation. Even the set of Vacantist Church by the name of, um, I think it's called um, Catholic Answers or something like that. Can't remember the name off the top of my head. It's run by a guy named Peter Diamonds and his brother Michael Diamond. They even pointed out what we know is true of the Roman Catholic Church. That historically, you cannot be saved unless you're submitted to the bishopric of the Roman Catholic Church. So this idea that you, uh, there's a baptism of grace, that's never given in the Roman Catholic Church, you know. So those who are hardened within the Roman Catholic Church theses and doctrine, they know themselves that there's no way to be saved outside of their church. So when we've got a pope or the papacy teaching things that are anathema, that go against the historical view of the entire church, that pope is the Antichrist, according to your own tradition. Okay. So I'll simply say this, look, the Bible doesn't tell us anywhere that you can be saved if you have all faiths. The Bible says for there's only one name on which a man can be saved, under heaven which a man can be saved. The man Christ Jesus, that's the only name on which you can be saved. And the only way you can get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. There is only one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. There was no other prophet that's a mediator that doesn't give anything other than the word of God. And if he claims to be a mediator or a mediatrix, or if a woman claims to be a mediatrix, it must be proven from the word of God, or he must be a poster in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's, there's, there's a few types of mediation we can agree with here. I can agree that I can pray for my brother and sister that may be struggling with sin, but I cannot mediate for that brother to the Father of lights. The only one who can do that is Jesus Christ. When I am glorified, when I am gone up to the heavens, when I am before the throne of God, I cannot in any way um, redeem my brother from hell. According to the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox doctrine, you can. I cannot in any way, you know, be prayed to if I'm glorified before the seat of heaven. Only the Lord Jesus Christ is the one who can mediate to us between God and man. That's the only one. So if they're teaching of a mediator, they're not false religion. This is why Islam, Roman Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Hinduism, the the, all, these, all these religions are false. And they're the whore of Babylon. Well, I'll say the whore of Babylon is primarily Roman Catholicism, simply because yeah. it says in um, Revelations 14 that the, the whore of Babylon will be seated on seven hills, and Rome is seated upon seven hills. But the, the Islam and uh, is a, the thing is Hinduism comes before, you know, I mean, uh, it comes before Catholicism, and course, they yeah. talk about the mother Babylon, the whole of Babylon is the mother of all hollow trees. So this kind of religious system, they're all the same. They're all children of the same kind of... They're all planet. the same, but I believe there's a singular one that's called a whore. Because to be a whore in the Old Testament, you had to have known the God already of the Old Testament. That's why yeah. Israel was called a whore, because she was deemed a whore because she knew God, but yeah. she didn't want to submit to him. She wanted to give herself to stat statues, to stones, to other gods. The same with the Roman church. The Roman church was an apostolic church at one point, but then it defected and turned into an unapostolic church. That's yeah. why I would call it the whole of Babylon. But that doesn't mean there aren't other antichrists. The Bible says anybody who denies the Father and the Son is the antichrist. And of course, Hinduism, even Daganism before that, which was during the Old Testament, that of course was, the whore, was a whore of its time, but it was never a whore of Babylon. The whore of Babylon is a singular thing. But would you say also the Bible talks about come out to her, come out to her, my people, and it talks about, you know, uh, committing adultery. And so, you know, obviously, figure it sense, you know, is 
basically, you know, all these people who are following these religions, they're having like a spiritual intercourse. They, they, they are, they are. Oh, you know, and when it says come yes. out of her, for me, it's like almost like a sexual, not, not a sexual in the sense of physical, but it's like, it's an adultery. Oh well, yeah, it is called it's us. adultery. Yeah, Does he look interesting? Yeah, it's called it is adultery. But that's the, the one thing I understand is the whole of Babylon is a single, en single entity. Done. One minute. The whole of Babylon is a singular entity. So there's a difference there. The, whereas the whore of Babylon would be associated with Rome in Revelations 14. The, the whores who follow after gods would simply be anybody who does that. Okay. Uh, Amy, you're just annoying me right now. Okay. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. We're not on the same team. She's my wife. <laughs> if you ever had a wife, you can understand. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I mean by that? Have you ever had a wife? You're not on the same team. not my understanding yeah. of marriage, man. Are you, are you married? No, no. Ah, fair enough. Well, I mean, if you've ever been, if you've never been married, you don't really have a talk in this fight, unfortunately. Well, but anyway, what do you believe? What do you believe? I believe in myself. Married. You believe in yourself? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's mad. So what is that? Uh, just like, yeah. I'm not going to take advice from a dude dressed up as a Barbie doll. I'm, I'm sorry. Out in the game, man. Take from the I'm not gonna look. You're wearing a Dragon Ball Z top. I don't have to take advice from you. Honey, let's focus on him, please. Well, why don't you calm down and stop giving advice and start taking advice? I'm, Maybe I'm, dress I'm better. Calm. You seem to be the one that was jumping. Uh, mate, I'm calm. If I'm fine, I'm fine. Not really. I think you're still speaking to me. Okay. So you said you believe in yourself. Yeah. What yeah. do you consider yourself to be? Control of my own destiny. Mm. So can you control your own death? Um. Can, I can, can we can we move over there slightly? Because I can't really hear you because you're a bit slow. Because <laughs> you, know, you, know. you, know, you guys are talking, so I want us to talk. Okay, yeah. so you said you said you believe in yourself yeah. and you come on a special. So you are you telling me that you can understand? You know the date of your death. Well, no, no, I don't. Okay. No. Did you know before you were born that you were going to be born of the exact parents you were going to be born? With? No, no, no. Yeah. But right now you believe you're in control of your destiny. How does that pan out for you or manifest? Yeah, good. Like good. I like, if I want a job, I can go and get a job. Mm. Uh, I choose when I go to sleep, when I wake up. Salam <laughs> alaikum. But there's certain aspects I can't choose, yeah, certain aspects. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I, feel, I, I would say this, look, I mean, given the fact that extraneous purpose, so extraneous examples or extraneous, like, out of, out of our own remit, these things can affect us, right? Yeah. Given that fact, I would say, look, it's a bit hard to say I believe in myself. Because you, as an entity, yeah. are a conscious being. Yeah, yeah. But you don't know where that consciousness come from. Uh, this is my, my friend on this. Yeah, I guess so. Mm. It just is. It just is all around, isn't it, consciousness? But consciousness is not all around. Consciousness is singular. For example, we've got in life the hard problem of consciousness. The um, basically scientific truth that we all have different experiences, and not only that, we have subjective views of things that are pretty much the same. For example, chocolateness yeah. tastes different to different people. Yeah. We have a different idea of who we would want to love. They all taste similar. Um, when you say similar, that's a subjective view. That's not the same view as scientists would have of similarity. What, what it would mean is like when when I taste chocolate, or when I, for example, I, if, let's say I have um, an allergic reaction to something. You don't have that allergic reaction to something. Yeah. Well, let's say I've got an irrational fear. Let's say I, I don't like spiders. Maybe you do like spiders. Yeah. Okay. Given, given this effect on the psyche of the human mind, consciousness itself is not one. It's, in fact, multifaceted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, think it's a spectrum. Hmm. Yeah, more of a spectrum. Would you say, like, you are Hindu in any way or Buddhist in any way? I like Buddhism. Mm. And I like Hinduism as well, yeah. Right, right. But I'm not Buddhist or Hinduism. Mm. Oh, right. I, 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 I respect like, that. I like their ideas. Yeah, no. And um, Einstein once said one religion that could align with science the best was like Buddhism. Mm. The ideas of Buddhism. Well, science really is just a discovery of how the mechanism works. It's not the thing behind the mechanism itself. No, the quantum mechanics goes into that. Well, quantum mechanics is more so of a theory. The idea that, you know, yeah, in yeah. the very quantum realm, there is some sort of isn't, spir isn't spirituality theory as well? Um, spirituality is, well, here's the thing. Spirituality comes from the conscious mind, right? Yeah, yeah. It comes from an idea of a conscious spirit. Just in quantum mechanics as well. Well, the difference is, is that quantum me mechanics is not quantifiable. But you can sort of quantify that somebody has a conscious state. 
yeah, you yeah. can do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that there's the difference. How, how do you do that? Well, for example, with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, which is what I believe, he is an historical figure. That's not proof, is it? No, 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 I'm, I'm getting oh, to the proof. Yeah, yeah. So he is an historical figure. That's given by most historians. Is he? And Yes, most oh, historians okay. believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth actually existed, that he was an historical figure. Yeah. We've got Gerd Ludwin, you can look these guys up if you want to take a pen or anything. Yeah. Gerd Ludwin, he's an atheist scholar. Okay. He believed Jesus Christ existed. Yeah. Bart Ehrman, another atheist scholar, believed yeah, Jesus think he Christ might existed. Have done. So I, I think majority, in fact, of the um, Western world, in terms of historical studies, believe Jesus Christ existed. Do you think Buddha left? Do you? Um, I think, given uh, what I would do is I'll test the weight of evidence between Jesus and Buddha. Yeah, yeah. I would say, given the fact that there's no sources outside of Siddhartha, just like just as much as there's no sources outside of Muhammad, claiming, oh, by the way, Muhammad did this thing. I think we safely say that no, he didn't exist. Whereas we've got Josephus, Tacitus, Lucian, and many other people who, by the way, were enemies of the Christians, claiming, oh, by the way, this guy Jesus. You know, he's arrested, his brother was arrested, he died. So we've got so much sources of this. Whereas with these guys, I don't think so. It doesn't mean it, it could be the case that he did exist. He just didn't yeah. write anything down, though, did he? So Jesus himself did not pen anything. He just told some stories, didn't he? Well, well he didn't just, just tell stories. Well, no, but like, he did this thing and people told stories about him. Well, not yeah, just yeah, told yeah. stories about him. That stories implying some sort of fictional mode, right? No, what happened was people wrote down the events they witnessed of the time, including the things he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not that's not stories. Remember, like stories amalgamate over centuries, but we find the earliest gospels we have are from like 50 AD onwards yeah, yeah. in terms of fragmentary. Text. How long after Jesus died? So Jesus dies 33 AD. So this would have been around 10, 20 years. All right. Okay. So yeah, generally speaking, we have early documents from that time onwards and we've got tons of canonical text and list that show us that a community called Christians held that Jesus Christ, you know, died. So who wrote again. the first story about Jesus? Who wrote the first story of Jesus? Yeah, yeah, who, who first wrote about it? Okay, so the community of believers around him compiled text based upon what he did. I remember was I told you to witness testimony. Was it, so, yeah? was it the disciples? Yeah, it would have been the disciples. What well, they wrote? Some of the Bible. This is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which one? Okay, so Matthew was a tax collector at the time. He wrote the book of Matthew. Right. right. John the Apostle. Yeah. John, son of Zebedee, is what he's called. Because in in ancient world, right, you'll be the, called, called the son of something. Yeah. It's not like me and you today. We're called Baker, son of this or that. No. In the past, they were called. He was called John, son of Zebedee. And there's evidence and they existed. Yes, yes, there's evidence they existed outside of them. For example, James, the brother of Jesus, according to Josephus, actually existed. And he was arrested. Know Jesus had a brother. You didn't know Jesus had a brother? That's interesting. No, yeah, he had brothers and sisters. Did he? Yeah, in Matthew 12, we're told that he had brothers and sisters. And when he, when his brothers and sisters went up to Jesus and said, come with us, he says to them, no, like, you know, don't, these who are around me are my brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? I'm sort of paraphrasing. I can read out Mark 12 if you want me to, but that's basically it. So he did have biological brothers and sisters that came from Joseph and Mary. You understand where I'm coming from? But it's, it's just the fact that when we look at the historical criteria of the time, we can clearly see that these people existed. So I'll go a step further. If that's the case, the question I'd ask you is what, what kind of narrative would get a group of 10,000 Jews who were orthodox in their opinion to decide to die on the claim that a man had risen from the dead? What do you think would convince you that a man rose from the dead? Seeing it for myself. Exactly. Seeing it for yourself, right? Yeah. Witness, witness testimony, right? Yeah. Seeing his flesh, seeing him alive, seeing him die on the cross, viewing these things. Yeah, yeah. And yet, 10,000 Jews apostatized from their early Jewish faith, the Pharisaical tradition, and decide to believe a man rose from the dead. Not only that, they were persecuted historically, historically, by Nero, by Diocletian, he was a Roman emperor of the time. They were persecuted for their claims that Jesus Christ had rose from the dead. Yeah. So then the question becomes, is if this is historically accurate, which it seems to be, if we use the criterion of looking at historical evidence plainly, then really, it's, it's either this. It's either Jesus Christ was lying, everybody at the time was lying, including the people outside of him who didn't even agree with him on the fact that he was Messiah was lying, or he was telling the truth. And if he was telling the truth, then my friend, if you don't believe in him, you'll die in your sins. That's fair enough. Because, right, that's, the, that, that's just a fact, right? His followers were willing to die on the claim that he rose from the dead. He claims himself in Mark 13, I will die and I'll rise again. He also claims that he's God. And all authority on earth and in heaven has been given to him. Matthew 28, verse 19. So that, that's where we need to look into it. Yeah. I like what Jesus says about the kingdom of heaven being inside yourself. 
When Jesus Christ says it is inside you, he's speaking to the Pharisees. He says, the, 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 the thing is with Greek, of course, it's not always translated well with translations, unfortunately. And this is something I admit, like Greek is not well translated with many translations, unfortunately. But what, what he actually said was, if you look at the Greek word, is that the kingdom of God is beside you. He was talking of himself, basically, in the context. Because I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Luke 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was talking about himself. Oh, okay. So it's, it's like, yeah. But, but the kingdom of God is something you can only achieve through Jesus Christ. You don't achieve it through anyone else. Oh, okay. There's no other way to heaven but for Jesus. You don't think there's lots of different ways? No. Oh, just one. Because there is only one reconciliation for mankind's sin. But what happens if I was born in, like, a tribe? and contacted? Well, Jesus says himself, also in Luke 12, very long chapter, Jesus Christ says himself, to much is given, much is required. So he says, like, basically this, okay? If you were born in a tribe and you never heard the gospel of saving grace, you would be judged upon what you do know. Okay. So that there's, there's, of course, the, uh, the, the difference, right? The fundamental difference. We don't believe in an unfair God. We believe in a fair God that judges people fairly on what they do know. But now you know that the Christ, or at least I've conveyed to you, the Christ of the gospels, you'd be judged by what I've told you and what you've done with this information. So I will say this, I'm not trying to force you to do anything because that's not my job. No, I like you. I, 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 I like Jesus. I don't understand. I, I would just say, if you love him, look him up. Right? This is the thing. I've got a Bible here, but if you can, get a copy of the, the Gospel of John. Yeah, yeah. I should just start with that. Yeah. At the end of the day, if, if anything, if, even if you don't agree with it, it's still an historical fact that Jesus Christ existed. Why not do due diligence and look it up and just say, look, you know, I'll give Jesus a chance and I'll see what he says. Yeah, yeah. You know, even if I disagree, we'll have a look at it. But yeah, I'm not trying to force anything down your front. That's not how it works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. You got any questions? Not really, no. Okay, well, God bless you anyway. I'll, I'll let you two go off, man. God bless you. Take care. Okay. Yeah, about what? What, was you, what are you talking about, bro? trying to be smart about God. No, she's avoiding my argument. What was your argument? I don't give consent to be recorded by that. Right, but when speakers call on somebody, can call anybody. So if you don't want to be recorded, you can walk on. Okay, well, I'm not. I'm, I'm recording people here. No, I'm not arguing with you. I'm recording here. So if you don't want to be recorded, then look, you can go ahead. Okay. The fact that you have a camera means you want to make a fool out of me and make your chance. To no, I just want to record, mate. I don't care about. I don't even know who you are. You know that I'm a, I'm a non-believer. Yeah, that's irrelevant. That's honest. It's not about making a fool of you. If you think that that's fine, but that's an emotive argument. Uh, the question is. Uh, does God have unconditional love in the Bible? Yes, he does. Does he have an infinite, he uh, infinite hell? Does he have an infinite hell? Yes. And, okay. Is uh, to be uh, to go to heaven? Do I need to choose Jesus? Yes, you do. And that's conditional because it's conditional. No, it's not conditional. How's it, un how's it unconditional? The condition. Because you can't, you can't, you can't ask huh? some to go into somebody's house. They're not going to clip it. It's stream. Okay. So you it's can't like, ask to go. Are you, are you listening to me? Yeah. Okay. You can't ask to go in somebody's house if you're not going to adhere to their rules. It's as simple as that. No, 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 that's not true. It is. If, if hell is unconditional, hell is infinite. And the hell is hell is, is the what's the condition to go to hell? Hell is to choose to live a life devoid of Christ. So by making the decision that you do not want to believe in Jesus, you choose hell. Because life and eternal life is Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid talking to you. I don't think you're listening right now. I think your your head's in the clouds. Your head's in the clouds, actually. How do you know that Christ is real? Wait, how, how do you know your brain is real? Let's talk about consciousness. How do you know that facts, reality? Do you have access? You know who said that? Rene yeah. Descartes, he was a Christian. I, I, think, I think that's why. Yeah, Rene Descartes know? was a Christian. How do you, you know? Okay, How do you know that your rationality, your sense data gives you all reality? How do you know there's good and evils in the world? How do you know that under an atheist paradigm? Because in the same way that Jesus, like they saw Jesus and they saw God, then I can say, I see what this is existence. No, you can't have a ground for morality no, 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 based upon saying it. No, 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 hold on. No, 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 you can't no, 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 have a ground for morality based upon your own existence. Listen, listen, That's listen. a circular argument. You don't no, no, know what you're no, no, talking that's about. Not true. No, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Listen. Maybe get better arguments as an atheist. Look, no, the thing is, with atheist presuppositions, you, you know who else was an atheist? Hitler himself. And he presupposed that you were allowed to kill Jews and black women and black men in concentration camps. Is that okay to do? Is it wrong to kill Jews? No, no, we're supposed to separate sin from sinner, aren't we? Is it, is it wrong to kill Jews? Are we supposed is to it, separate I'm asking you as an atheist. Yeah, it is wrong to kill Jews. Why is it wrong? Because in, this, in our culture, we think more... What do you mean our bad. culture? Our culture is based upon Christian ethics. No, no. So it's you're, you're basically bad. sitting on it's my God, bad, yes, slapping him in the face. That's well done for that. Well done. You, you just cooked yourself. I don't know why you're even speaking to me. Well, you just, you just cooked yourself, man. Well, what was the conclusion? So basically, look, under the atheist paradigm, you're just assuming that you have morality without actually giving a justification for morality. If you told me that Hitler was bad because Hitler was bad, that's a circular argument. 
No, you have to prove that you have foundational moral ethics to claim that is bad. We claim that the foundation and the conditions for morality is based upon God. The atheist claims that because he's an evolved ape, he has an opinion. <laughs> So yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. I don't really waste time with children. Do you want to come around? His, his, his argument is we have a Yeah, that, that was definitely my argument. Thank you. Yeah. You see that? This is how you deal with rude people. You just G-check them. <laughs> you just G-check them, bro. You just G-check them. You don't have to walk away. Come on. Just chill. You're really annoying me, man. For some reason, you're just annoying me. Just chill, man. Just settle yourself, man. <laughs> Just sure, bro. It's because you know, like, the thing is, you're not you're not let trained how to deal with people, so you'll just literally debate anybody. And I told you, look, there are dogs and swines no, here. He was a dog and swine, and he was. Yeah. That's why I said you should speak to him because he was asking questions. He kept cutting me off. Well, he basically I... said that heaven is conditional. I said condition upon what? First of all, heaven is a place devoid know? of Christ. So if you say I don't want Christ, you've chosen hell. Sorry. Hell is a place devoid of Christ. If you claim, I don't want Christ, you've chosen hell. It's as simple as that. So in fact, heaven is conditioned upon whether you accept Christ or not. That's it. That's it. It's conditioned upon whether you want to go to heaven. <laughs> That's as simple as that. Because if you wanted to go to heaven, naturally you would want to be around Jesus. It just, so it's circular reasoning, really, from the atheist. Yeah, man. Yeah, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up? It's good. Oh, glory to Christ. We've got Deadpool over there as well. You yeah, wanted a big like Spider-Man, you... Wait, are, are we going to... No, that's Deadpool, that's not Spider-Man. No, whatever. Yeah. What are you talking about? All right, we're just talking about random stuff, just cook some atheists up there, and we're, we're still cooking people, you know what I mean? They're still you cooking people. Oh, you my days. We, we've yeah. done this so much, Chris, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, yeah, I cooked you on the stream last night, all right, man. Impervious mysticism. Huh? Impervious, complete uh, mysticism. Oh, wow, impervious, wow. That's why so many of your people are dead, like the Kafirs. Yeah, <laughs> <us out, you're laughs> and that's why you guys don't exist anymore. So in purpose. In fact, Christianity Why? still exists after a thousand dead. years. That makes sense. <laughs> he will answer you. Hello, you right? But you need to answer that. Come on. Hey, what are you saying, Deadpool? What are you doing, man? Can you speak? You're, you're mute. So you're a mute Deadpool. That's, uh, that's not good, is it? I'm sure he can speak. He can say stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know sign language, unfortunately. I do not like sign language. Right. Okay, what is the best evidence for your belief? Well, I said the historical evidence of the Lord Jesus Christ. The fact that we have historians who are atheists, like Gerd Ludman and Bart Ehrman, claiming that Jesus Christ of no, Nazareth he does, existed. Well, he does, but he's useless. Exactly, so, let, so then why don't you shut up and let me continue? No, 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 he's crying, he's crying because he's a Gnostic. Okay, but anyway. So yeah, I would say the historical evidence of the time, the, the wealth of New Testament manuscripts no and the fact evidence. we can, they all go back to 50 AD. We've got fragments no, from 50 AD. No, no. Okay. You're just poo-pooing at the moment. Who are your favorite figures in your book? So I'll say Jesus Christ is the authoritative favorite figure in my book because he is God and the only way to heaven is through him. Okay. How do you get to heaven? Well, how you get to heaven is by trusting and believing in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, making him Lord of your life. When you do that, then Nazareth you receive Christ in your heart. He changes you from within, and then you receive heaven. It's not like other religions where you have to do a bunch of good works, because good works won't get you to heaven. Only Christ, who is good, can get you to heaven. God bless. Stay good, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> just spoke to Deadpool. <laughs> you know Jamie's mum is there. Oh yeah, James Mom is there. Nice. Hello. Hello, hello. You're alive, by the way. No problem, no You're problem. Alive. I was glad to. <laughs> you, you don't want to be on camera, though. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's there. Anyway. So yeah, it's been interesting. We've spoken to Deadpool. <laughs> what is? Okay, we've spoken to Deadpool. We've spoken to some cra cracky atheists. Who have got... <laughs> <laughs> So I was, I was going to say crackhead, but I wasn't going to say it because oh. I was not Christian. We spoke to some cracky atheists, and of course we spoke to, you know, some individual about the Lord Jesus Christ, which is what it's all about. Now let's go around and see who else we can speak to um, on these very topics of religion. Um, now while I'm doing that, I'm just going to read from the Word, because again, it's all about John's Bible study. Do you remember that guy that claimed to be a Christian? What? Oh, uh, you know, I, I don't have time. I don't have time for these clowns. Okay. 
Let's go. Okay, we're at Isaiah 2 verse 1. Sorry. Isaiah 2 verse 1 onwards. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go up and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God, the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. How are you doing, man? You're a Christian? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You're not a Christian, man. No, what are you, Muslim? I'm a Muslim. Oh, you're Muslim. You want to have a conversation about Islam? <laughs> you want to have a conversation about Islam? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, why are you Muslim? First, because you? I believe in the, in, the, in the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Hmm. Yes, because his teaching is very logical. Hmm. It makes sense. Are you Sunni Muslim by any chance? No, I'm Sunni, yeah, of course. Yeah, you're Sunni, obviously. Because I've read a lot of hadith in the Sunni tradition, right? Yes. And, and the thing is, for me, the reason why I'm a Christian is because of the weight of evidence of the righteousness yes. of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth. Yes. The fact that he was purely good. He did no deceit, neither was any guile found in his mouth. That's what First Peter tells us, right? And when you read the, the New Testament, he's ne he neither strikes anybody, he doesn't attack anybody. But we find Muhammad doing separate things within the Sunni hadith. For example, there's, there's a hadith where Muhammad says, if anybody changes his religion, kill him. That's a fact. Do you want me to show you that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have no idea. Amy. Hey, Amy. Hey, if anybody do what? I need my phone. If anybody do If what? anyone changes his religion, kill him. Yeah, but so it's also in the Bible too. No. It's also in the Bible. When so uh, so when, yes, what, what part of the Bible is in? It said that if anybody brought any religion in the law of Moses, I think it's in the Deuteronomy, which you, you will know. He said that if anybody brought any religion, apart from the religion Moses brought, they should kill the person. Are, are you speaking to a Christian or a... a what do you mean? I'm talking Are you speaking Bible. to a Christian or what? a a, a um, Jew no, from I'm the time from of the Israel? Bible. Don't twist no, no, I'm not saying anything. You're twisting what I'm saying. You think okay. you're clever. So are you speaking I'm to a Christian or are you are speaking you to an Israelite Jew? No, I'm talking from your Bible. I'll ask you a question. Are you speaking to a Christian or are you speaking to an Israelite Jew? I'm talking from the Bible. I, 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 you're not you, listening to what I'm saying. Do you believe in Bible? You're not listening to what I'm saying. Now you are, you Israel, are, you? <laughs> are you an Israelite Jew? 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 So no, it's not a hard question. Yeah, I, no, no. Okay, you're not an Israelite Jew. Oh, well, neither am I. Okay. Yeah. As a Christian, you use, you use the Bible, as a Christian, it? I follow the laws and tenets of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm not an Israelite Jew. <laughs> I don't want to go into it. You knew I was filming. Didn't I? I know. Okay. You know. So yeah, as a, as a Israelite Jew, an Israelite Jew, yeah. under the covenant given to the children of Israel and them only, yes, if anybody, part of the children of Israel, yeah. changed their religion, yeah. they would be killed. Yes, yeah, that's, that's why Jesus fact. Christ was killed, you know that. That's because not why Jesus Christ was killed. That's why Jesus Christ was Stay killed. Stay with what I just said. That okay. is why so Jesus in the Christ Old Testament, no, no, because stop running. Taught, running. The Pharisees stop running. What is your name? What's Baba, your name? Baba. Baba. My name is John. Okay. John, Let's not run John. away from the topic to the Darwin yeah, script. Yeah, yeah. Let's stay on the point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The point was, okay, in the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, which I'm not a part of, clearly says that you are to kill Israel, an Israelite who leave that covenant. Do you want to know why? No. Okay. It's very important that you understand what we believe, at least what Israelite Jews believe before you critique it. Because your, your Quran confirms these very books. So I hope. The Bible also confirmed that. Your, your Quran that confirms. That no, 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 you're, you're running now. You're running now. It's the same. No, you're running. It's your Quran same. confirms those books. So stop running. Even the Bible your says. Your Quran that says the to Muhammad, if you have any problems with what I've said to you, that's what Allah says, go yes. to those who've been reading the scripture before you, yes. chapter 10, verse 94. Yes. So th let's not let's not pretend that you have another. Your, your Christianity. No, 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 I'm not. I don't, have, I, I don't believe in your book. All what you are condemning from the Quran is your Bible. You're fallaciously interpreting you know stuff you don't have any idea about. Okay. So you don't have Allow me to correct idea. you. Allow me to correct you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Here's the problem you have. Yeah. Okay. Your Quran says that these books not, are wahi. I, I didn't prepare. This. Your Quran says that these books were sent from God. So of Deuteronomy, course. yes, was sent by God. Do you believe that? Of course. Okay. So then don't attack your own God and don't go to your testament no, now. No, 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 no. Let's stick with the New Testament. Evidence. No, no. Evidence. Because just you would point. be going against I'm your own God. I'm your God. Oh, you're not attacking my God. Of course. I'm, so you, I'm you, do you the agree? Facts. Do you agree that your God Allah said there was there was punishment for those who leave Israel in it's the Old Testament? It's also in the Bible, too. No, no. I'm asking you a question. It's also do you, in you the agree? Bible. Do you agree? Of course, I okay, agree. Okay, okay. Thank I you. Agree. Okay, thank you. So we're on level playing field, one. Of course. Now let me establish 
where, in fact, the Old Testament isn't the law for us today. So the, so the, the Bible well, says the in Bible the Old Testament... Old Testament is not no, 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 you're not hearing what I'm saying. Ah, no, you're no, not no. hearing what I'm saying. Yeah, you if you want to run, that's fine. I, I if you want to leave, if you want to yeah, leave, yeah, yeah, if you can't bear the kitchen, that's fine. Go away. No, it's because you can't argue. That's why. No, it's because you don't know what you're talking about. The fact is your prophet, who's supposed to be the last messenger for mankind, said if anybody changes religion, kill them. Listen, your prophet says if anybody leaves religion, kill him. So I'm you. My friend, my friend the, the Old Testament is not applicable to me. Jesus Christ is better than your prophet. No are you saying that Jesus Christ is better than your prophet then? What do you mean by his better? Are you saying that they Jesus Christ is better? No, they're not. What do you mean? No, they're not. Okay, what is your point? Okay. What's your stand? Jesus Christ, did he say in the New Testament anywhere anybody kills, release their religion, kill them? Did he say that anywhere in the New Testament? It's in the Bible. Show me in the New Testament. No, it's in the Old Testament. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Show me so where in the New don't Testament. Have, then why do you have my criteria in the New Testament? My criteria is New Testament. I'm not an Israelite no, Jew. Argument. You're running to Israelite Jew. I don't know what you're talking you're about. Don't, don't let him help you. I know you're scared. I know you're scared. I know you're scared. You're running to him. You're running to him because you're scared. Your God said he sent down the Old Testament. So you're just arguing against your own God. Are you going to run? Are you going to run? Look like you're stepping back, bro. Look like you're stepping back, bro. You're going to run? Okay. Let's stay here. Let's stay on the point. I don't know how to shout at you, okay? We're two men. We should be able to talk to each other. Okay, so calm your voice down. Okay. Okay. So in our religion, there is a covenantal system, just Why like yours. You, you don't, have you, you, don't listen, you don't listen, you don't listen, you don't have ears. In our religion, there's a covenantal system, just like yours. Next time. In, in Surah Al-Baqarah of your own Quran, you don't read your own Quran. Can I say one word? It clearly says there's covenants for the children of Israel. Can I say one word? Is Jesus can the I same as the children of Israel? You? Can you listen to me? In your Quran? Can you say something? In your let Quran, are you, do you have the covenant say, of Israel? Let me say something. I'm asking you a question. Do you have the covenant of Israel? Do you want to run? Do you want to run? You don't do you want to run? Do you want to run from what I said? No, 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 I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you. I asked you. You're running from what I said. I'm not here for a money look. I want you to answer the question. My friend, I want you to answer the question. I want you to answer the question. If you can't answer the question. Wait, wait, excuse me. You condemn the Old Testament and you call yourself a Christian. What kind of Christian? You're saying God bless me, what I mean. Why is it you're scared of the question? So in the Quran, is your God say he sent down the Torah and the Gospel? Why are you running? Chapter 5, verse 68. Allah sent down the Torah and the Gospel. Why are you running, Habibi? Why are you running from what, sir? Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared? Why is every time I come here, Muslims are scared of me? Why are you scared of me? You're running from me. You're running from me. No, I have the Bible in my hand. My friend, I ask you one question, you can't answer it. You can't answer it. Bro, you're biased Muslim just like this guy. You, you guys are crying. You're crying. I'm condemning your God. No, your God. Your God, your came, God. Your God claims to be the best God. example for mankind. <laughs> was, your, was your Muhammad the final prophet? You have to run. You're scared. You see, often times they will tell us that the, new, the Old Testament says to kill apostates. And yet their God claims to be the best example for mankind. How does that work out? Are you going to run for your life? I'm not asking any of your questions until you answer mine. Answer my question. You can't answer my question. You're still running. You see what I mean? I'm not here for a monologue from some Mohammedans. I want you to answer my question. Why is it you running for your life like scared little girls? Why can't you answer the question? You know what I mean? Scared little girls, bro, I swear. <laughs> they even needed atheists to protect them because, you know, <laughs> they have to go to mummy because John's here. It's ridiculous. What? Why did that atheist come back? I don't know what they were doing. I don't, he's meant to do them. You see, the atheists have the same demon as the Muslims. The Mohammedan have the same demon as the Muslims. So of course, of course, the Mohammedan it's and the atheists will join. Antichrist spirit. The denial yeah. that Jesus is God. Antichrist. Anybody who denies Jesus Christ is God is an antichrist. So I mean, of course, they're going to team up. They tried to go on Megatron and still they got whooped. <laughs> That's what the liberals protect the Islamism. You know? No, all glory to Christ. Look, the fact is, the question is still positive. All right. The Old Testament is descriptive. It has descriptions of what is going to go on. The New Testament is not descriptive. It is prescriptive. If anybody knows what prescriptive is, who is older than the age of five, let me know in this park right now. <laughs> okay, prescriptive means is that these things are prescribed for the people to do. In ancient Israel, these injunctions given to the Israelites were given to a culture that were around God physically. God was physically present with the Israelites. Not just in the way of a spiritual sense, but actually physically there. So nobody was given the right to claim that they didn't know the God of Israel was actually there. He was there by a cloud by day and a pillar fire by night. So that's the pervading difference. 
The difference is Mohammed claims to be the best prophet for all mankind for all times. And yet, he said, if anybody changes religion, kill him. That's not a prophet, that's a demon. Have anybody proved me wrong? Am, am I wrong about this, but am I wrong about this? <laughs> that's good. You see what I mean? Am I wrong about this? No, because it's in the Sahih Hadith. Okay, we're not making it up, it's clearly there. You see, they have to run for their lives. They just film the space that you come on, how scared people are. Yeah, 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 just film the space. Film the space. Just tell them the minute they we command the space, they run for their life or they try to debate Amy because they're only big around women, you know. And I'm not saying this to be a misogynist, but again, it's just a given fact. Prior to third wave feminism, you know, men were meant to be the ones who take care of the land. So yes, they are fearful. Uh, little Bob or wanna be Bob, is that two of them? They're identical twins. There's two of them. <laughs> you need to see that quick. Wait, I need to see the two Bobs. I need to see the two little Bobs. I didn't know there's two little Bobs. I didn't know there's two of them. Oh yeah, they do. Ah. There's two of them. No, 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 he won't speak to him. He won't. Did you see huh? them? He, no, 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 he won't speak to no, him. No, no, Thomas is going to run for me. <laughs> Thomas is going to run for me. What? Yeah, there is two of them, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. speak to them, they're under 18, but apparently they're related to Bob. They're related to Bob? Yeah. I'm going to show you this um, little Bob. Oh. There are actually two of them. I'm going to show Oh, that you. makes sense, why then? The relation. Yeah, it makes sense, the relation. It's just that we don't need more Bobs in this park. Like, it's seriously bad. Why have we got more of him? Now I have to defeat more. <laughs> He's multiplying now. <laughs> He's multiplying. Okay. Maybe that's why there are so many videos of him because there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? God bless you, man. Yeah, man. Anyway. Do you want to go and look around then? How are you doing, man? Thank you. Like, man. It, Thank it takes a lot of boldness standing up against the ecumenical. Yeah, yeah, it's it does. Like, you know, it's sort of like, I'm seeing them like say, like, oh, you're sectarian devil and that but what i find personally quite hypocritical is it's like would you accept like a mormon is like a christian yeah, like, exactly. you know what i mean because if the goal is just unity yeah. then like why don't you accept these other people like there's obviously some type of criteria yeah so it's, it's Bob saved. setting up his own criteria yeah, instead yeah. of going to the word of God. Mm. The Bible says if anybody has another gospel, let them be accursed. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Okay, and the Bible says after the first and second admonition, mm. depart from that man. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. really, I'm doing what the Bible says, and unfortunately, these guys are not. <laughs> but it, these two are kids, to be fair. They don't really, I don't know if they know about it, but yeah, they're, they're easily swayed, unfortunately. Yeah, but, yeah, I hear that, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly well. Like, but yeah. you know what though I, I am seeing more people like talk up against it you know like and because it, it's kind of it almost just seems like an ad hominem attack yeah. you know what i mean like, like all i've asked is for bob to have a discussion on sound doctrine at this part that's it yeah and then after that we can leave it yeah i'm not harassing him anymore i'm not going to go up to him or anything because i don't have time for that okay yeah, we've done yeah. that twice already that's it first and second admonition yeah, yeah, yeah but i'm yeah. glad i did it because i've shown that what he says is false mm, and many yeah. people come up to me and said look i didn't even know he taught capitalism yeah, and yeah. prayers the saints of prayers to know. Like, I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah. I knew he had some inclination to the Catholic Church, yeah. but I had no idea it was to that extent. It was only when you were Sarah King, then I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sarah yeah. should be here as well, so she'll yeah. give her your interpretation. But yeah, I mean, generally speaking, yeah, I'm not. We're not in fellowship with them, but. No, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it is kind of an interfaith dialogue at that point, because it's like if Catholicism says that the Catholic Church is the only way to be saved then it's like, it doesn't really make sense to say, oh, well, it's like kind of like being a Muslim and a Christian. Like, it doesn't really make, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make like, sense, no. You know, like, if you can only be saved by being in the Catholic Church, how can you kind of have one foot in, one foot out, you know? That well, seems... yeah, and, and the other thing is, this, it's decrepit. It's degenerate, really, mm. because it denies the spirit working in other people's lives outside of just the mainline physical church we yeah, see. Yeah. Whereas I believe that anybody from any country who maybe can't get to a Roman Catholic or Eastern Orthodox church is saved. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, they've trusted in his gospel. That's the truth of it. Okay, in their language, how they pervade it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the most important thing. So if anything, I find Bob's position very limiting. 
He claims to want to be an ecumenist. I'm saying more ecumenical than he is. Yeah, right. Okay, in the yeah. sense that I believe there can be born again believers everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. But I mean, I, what I would say is a born again believer wouldn't engage in prayers of saints. I believe they would abstain from that. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, leading them to the Word of God. Yeah, there's one mediator between God and man. So exactly. Exactly. Yeah. What, what, how do you think he would like justify or ecumenicals would justify like? Uh, because, because really, only the only logical reason I can see is just to gang up against Islam. But like, in terms of salvation, it doesn't really seem, it doesn't make sense to say like, oh, well, let's like, not talk about this big issue, like mm. when like potentially you're going to hell and I'm. Um, they don't care about know. salvation. Yeah. Do you, so, the, I've spoken to you people for years. They don't care about salvation. Yeah. <laughs> I've spoken to. I've known Bob for years. If you look at the older videos on soccer films. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like four years ago, yeah, I was speaking yeah. about this stuff with Bob. Yeah. And I wasn't getting a correct answer. He was just saying we need to unite. You know, to go against is the Islamic threat in the country. Yeah. And I was saying, well, that's not important because yeah, even yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ says himself that in the last days yeah. it'll be worse than the days of Noah. Mm. You know, or yeah. just as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. Yeah. It's going to get worse, though. We're told that. We're guaranteed it. Yeah, but we're yeah. also guaranteed that Christ's kingdom is not of this world. Mm -hmm. And if we trust in him and believe in him, yeah. we will be saved and redeemed by his blood. Yeah, yeah. So th there's a difference. So I had to make the choice. Who do I trust? Him or Christ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah unfortunately, I lost a friend, but gained a better point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it's yeah. eternal consequences to this stuff. And yeah. it's like, you know, you're going to be hated by the by the world, innit? You know, yeah. for, You'll be hated by Christ. everybody for his name's sake, John 15. Yeah, so, amen, amen. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not trying to judge people. We, we didn't want to push him away. We're like, let's have a good discussion about this. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't want to. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so do you think it's like a kind of like a prioritization of like kind of sort of, do you think like ethno-nationalism sort of comes into it at all? Or like not even ethno-nationalism. It's kind of, I guess I'm thinking of like the Tommy Robinson thing and, and stuff. But like, I think partly, like, yes. So there, yeah. there's a group, there's a movement called Disciples of Christ, yeah. which Bob is a part of, which I'm she has ethno nationalists in them, yeah, yeah, and yeah. maybe, according to one of the sources I've heard, yeah. maybe have national front inside mm. of that community. Yeah. Right, okay, so yeah. that's the issue. I think really it's very dangerous to follow that, yeah, yeah. because then it becomes more about the ethnos and less about Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they can shout Christ is king, not yeah. because they care about Christ and sharing the gospel, yeah, but yeah. because they want to further their agenda of ethno nationalism. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a question for you as well because you, you you said you used to be an orthodox. Yeah, like, I used to be orthodox. Yeah. That's so interesting. Like, so what I don't get is like Catholics and Orthodox will say like, oh, we're brothers. Like, but then they'll say Protestants are heretics or whatever. Like, non-denominational heretics. But like, how can they be brothers with each other if they're both saying they're the one true church? Like, surely they should be treating each other kind of like. Why, why do they have this kind of res like res mutual respect for each other? Like, when it doesn't really seem to make sense to me. Like, well, for, it's, it's just come from them not knowing enough about their own traditions. Right. If they knew enough about Eastern Orthodoxy, Eastern Orthodoxy is very clear, you cannot take communion if you're Protestant or Roman Catholic. Yeah. You cannot do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You step into their, their doors, in order to, to be a part of their church, you have to be baptised yeah, yeah. and you have to denounce the heresy, yeah, according yeah. to their own traditions, of Roman Catholicism and Protestantism. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a given fact. Mm. So if you're baptised under them, you already cannot presuppose Roman Catholicism. Mm. Yeah, the yeah, issue yeah. is that a lot of people are not coming down here and saying this stuff. And, and because of that, people are turning to these traditions knowing nothing about them. Yeah, the, yeah. Historical, the historical Roman Catholic position mm. was that, according to Mortalium Animus, which is a papal bull, and Unum Sanctum, again another papal bull, mm. um, according to that, <laughs> according to that, right, anybody who's outside of the church, of the Roman Catholic Church, yeah, is not yeah. saved. Yeah. You have to be under the Roman Catholic Church to be saved, and specifically yeah. under the papacy. So if, you, if I deny the papacy, that's it. I'm not a Christian. Mm. Yeah, because it, it says because they, it, there seems to be contradictory things in the catechism as well. It's trying to say like, oh, but like if, if you're a Muslim, then you can be saved. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so is it like are they trying to say like, oh, if you have a certain level of knowledge, then uh, then you become like accountable to become a Catholic or like? So I mean, what what Vatican II would say is that we're separated brothers. Oh, but it's yeah. weird when you read Vatican One, it says no, we're not. Yeah. Okay, so there is a, there's an element of accountability given yeah. in Vatican II that isn't in Vatican I yeah, and yeah. before that. So historically, before Vatican II in the 1960s, yeah. the Catholic Church thought that anybody that's not under its banner is not a Christian. Mm. There is yeah. no there's no justification. You're not a Christian. Yeah, yeah. But then after Vatican II, there was like, okay, then look, like you can be a Christian in a sort of immediate sense, but you still have to be baptized in the Roman Catholic Church. Right. And they teach, according to Catholic Catechism 841. Yeah, that yeah. Muslims have the same God as them, yeah, but they true. also say that the Muslims need salvation. Yeah, 
which yeah. is contradictory. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and like, especially with what the Pope was saying like the other day, like, oh, oh, all religions lead to God. It's just like different languages. It's like, how, how can, like, if I was a Catholic, like, that would like shatter my faith to see that. It's like, wait, you're, so you've been telling me all this time, like Catholics been, like hypothetically, Catholics been telling me all this time, oh, like you need to follow, because, Everyone has a different interpretation of the scripture. You need an infallible uh, interpreter who is the Pope or the Catholic Church. But then, like, <laughs> but then all of a sudden, Catholics will say, "Oh no, that's not what the, the Pope really meant." So now I need an interpreter for the infallible. Yeah, I just, I just asked, who's the interpreter for the interpreter of the Catholic Church when yeah. the interpreter falls? Because yeah, it kind of sounds but, like they have the same, well, the same problem they claim Protestants have. Well, yeah. But then they just kind of push it back a step further. Like, well, that's the point. Than, it's, yeah. That's the doctrine called sola ecclesia, uh, yeah, where yeah, they yeah. believe the church is infallible because the church is, is infallible. Mm, that's that's right. circular yeah, reasoning. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at the Catholic Church historically, mm. the popes always abuse their power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly. Mm. John Paul II kissed the Quran yeah. famously in yeah, front of others. Nice. And, yeah. and obviously, he kissed an imam as well. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like, they, they, so they were promoting this stuff very early on, but yeah. it wasn't pronounced clearly until we get to like Vatican II. Yeah, yeah. That's when they start pushing it further. Yeah. But yeah. for us, it's just simply a case of, no, we don't need an infallible yeah. authority. We have the authority yeah. written in the scriptures. Yeah, yeah. And those who twist scripture to their own destruction will be judged. Yeah. But the scriptures yeah. remain consistent and the narrative remains consistent. Yeah. The question has got to be, who do you want as your judge? Jesus Christ himself? Mm -hmm. Or random popes and random councils. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's as simple as that. Yeah. And I, I just chose Jesus, and that's it. Yeah, exactly. Because because the way I see it, no, in my mind, it's like like I started reading some of the early church fathers. I haven't gone through all of them, but it's more just out of curiosity. But I, the way I see it is like if say First Clement was like was scripture, it would be in the Bible. Like uh, yeah. or I don't know, maybe that's ignorant of me to say because technically he's. Just uh, like I don't know exactly why it's not scripture for example. That for scripture for example. Oh, I, I do. Oh, okay. It's which, just basically this: the early church, which I believe as well. Yeah. yeah. The early church looked at these writings because yeah. they received them. Yeah, you see yeah. what what the Catholic says? They gave us it. No, the church received oh, okay, the right, scripture yeah, yeah, yeah. from the apostles at the time who had actually written them. Yeah, they'd yeah. copied it over and over again. And they looked at the, the writings themselves. Yeah. And if the writings contradicted earlier writings or dogmas right. of the church, they were just rejected. Oh, so because there's actually contradictions in it, it's not declared scripture. So how can then Catholics appeal to that to say like, oh yeah, that's the true interpretation if they're acknowledging like that that's got fallible stuff in? Or do they not? Do they say like, do they say the writings of the early church fathers are infallible as well? No, they don't. That's the hypocritical right. thing. They don't believe they're infallible. Right, okay. They believe councils are infallible, but they don't oh, believe the okay. church writings are infallible. But they will try and hold us to those writings yeah. And I'm thinking, how can you? For example, yeah. I've done a study of the early church fathers. I've read Irenaeus, yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his book against heresies, or his various books against heresies, yeah, yeah. where he, he just outlines in Against Heresies, book two, chapter 32, yeah. he says we don't invoke angels. Mm. In the Catholic church, they pray to Saint Gabriel, yeah. Yeah. who's an angel, mm. and the Archangel Michael. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's not history. That's, right? a, that's another thing I was confused about because it's a sin in Catholicism to presume you're saved, right? Like, is, it, is that right? Like, to, to presume your own salvation is yeah. sin. Then, isn't that like I kind of see it as a contradiction to say like declare say Mother Teresa's in heaven or declare like this person's a saint who's in heaven? Like, isn't that kind of contradicting their own belief? Or am well, I they would just say that, that that person was given extra grace because of their works. So they're really looking at the works of the yeah, individual rather than yeah. what they actually truly believe about Christ. Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. of course, somebody believes in the gospel is not doing that because we all know, yeah. according to Romans 3, that all have fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a fact. Yeah. So all yeah. sin, that's the issue. It's yeah, integral yeah. to our being. Yeah. Paul says in Romans 7 that he lives in a body of sin and death. Yeah. It's really hard not to live without sin. Yeah, yeah. To love your neighbor as yourself means yeah. to feed, clothe, wash your neighbor, to pay their rent. We yeah. can't always do that. Yeah, it's so that's to the, like walk in the the new man rather than like living in the flesh, I guess. Like, exactly. But, but we're all gonna fall sometimes. We're all know, gonna so. fall. But yeah. even even John says in First John, if we do sin, we have a mediator, yeah. Jesus Christ the Lord. Mm. So he's assuming that there's going to be some sinning going on. Yeah, yeah. He's not assuming that we're all going to be papists yeah. and we're just going to be covered by satispatio yeah. and there's going to be purgatory. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's not that's not biblical. Mm, that's right. Yeah. I'm curious as well. Uh, what do you what do you how would you respond to someone who brings up say 
um, Matthew 25 with the, the sheeps and the goats like parable? Because I even hear some Protestants sometimes bringing up to say like, oh, you need works. And I, now I see that as more of a descriptive passage just to say that, you know, believers are more likely to be the ones who are feeding. But, but it's not always the case that believers are going to like, you know, feed the homeless and like, you know, feed his sheep, you know. So well, it's the, like... The narrative yeah. given before yeah. that, of course, we see the parable of the talents, yeah. of course, and parables before that. You yeah, can see yeah. there's a differentiation. He's talking about the kingdom of God, by the way. That's what he says. Yeah, He's talking yeah. about the parable of the kingdom of God. Mm. Who's, who's, who has entrance to the kingdom of God? Yeah. The sheep. Yeah, exactly. Again, yeah. my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. When you take the whole weight of scripture into account, you can clearly yeah. see that sheep cannot be goats by yeah, nature. Yeah. Mm. It's the same yeah. with Second Peter 2, where it says that you know the swine went back to the mud, the dog went back to his vomit. Yeah. Get, Christians are not dogs or swine. So we've got to look at what yeah. the narrative being painted is. Christians are not a goat, they're sheep. Yeah. They're the sheep that follow yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so and that's how we right. should look at it. We, we've got to understand the Bible is inspired. Yeah, yeah. So all of the books are inspired. Mm. So the narrative should be consistent and clear. Yeah. It shouldn't be that, that for example, John 10, 28, mm. where, where Jesus says, none that I'm given, mm. I shall lose. Yeah, yeah. Well, it can't, that can't be the case, and yet all of a sudden we'll be lost. That yeah, just yeah, exactly. can't be the yeah. case. So we've got to look at it in a holistic context. The sheep yeah. and the goats are those who trust in Christ and those who don't. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I believe that the good works we do According to Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, we are created in Christ to do them, and those were prepared beforehand. You can read that in Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, that makes that's, that's really sense. Cool. Yeah, sick. Yeah. It's crazy. I had all these questions that are just coming out. But yeah, with uh, like another thing I want to ask, like with um Catholics, like say they go against the Pope for saying something like, oh, all roads lead to heaven, basically. Like that seems like the right position, obviously. But then doesn't that make them apost an apostate technically of the Catholic Church because they're rejecting a statement of the Pope? Like how would that work? Well, in Vatican One, yes, they would be. And that's the difference, because Vatican II is not consistent with the history of the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in Vatican I, technically, yeah. they would be a heretic. Yeah, yeah. They would be. They, they would have to repent of that sin. Yeah. Because uh, the, the, according to Vatican I, the Pope is infallible in matters yeah. of faith mm. and doctrine. Yeah, you can read yeah. it, well, is it? Yeah. I, I don't, I, this is the thing, I don't make this stuff up. No, I've no, even no. said it to Bob and others, and they just... Yeah, yeah they just run from it. I don't understand how people become convinced of this, honestly. I yeah. think it's it's kind of just like, yeah, why do, why do you think, actually, that people fall into, like, orthodoxy? And, because I, I think that maybe because of this culture, especially of, like, apologetics and, like, uh, the being of, like, Muslims and stuff, it kind of, I don't know, I feel like that has an influence in some, because, like, obviously, Sam Moon's a Catholic, you've got Jay Dyer's are orthodox. And I feel like, do you think people are just being influenced by them because they're very intellectual and, like, philosophical and stuff? Or do you think it's deeper than that? Like, uh, I, I think there is influence going on within these communities because of the intellect and because these people are not, a lot of Sam Moon's fans, and I was one of them, unfortunately don't study scripture every day. Yeah. Like, when I was watching Sam, I didn't feel the need to study scripture every day yeah, and see. see that's the issue because I thought yeah. well he's teaching me this stuff so I just listen from him and that's not the way to go first we establish sound doctrine then we go yeah. right yeah, we yeah. at least try to understand the Bible the word of our God okay yeah, yeah and, and that's the problem but I would say like primary to it for example I, I became Eastern Orthodox yeah, yeah, yeah and the questions were coming into my mind like how do I establish the early church mm. like yeah. how, how can I know that my church is truly early yeah. instead of asking myself what is apostolic doctrine Right, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the question I should ask myself. Yeah, what yeah. is absolute doctrine? Yeah, yeah. And then testing the scriptures versus yeah. each of these other churches. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's happening. Instead of going to the scriptures and testing yeah. absolute doctrine, right, they're yeah. going to churches they think is apostolic. Okay, so they're and reading a, their interpretation into scripture based on like apostolic, well, what they think is like apostolic or whatever, like from church fathers and uh, Vatican councils and all that, like, uh, but um, yeah, obviously it makes sense to go to the scriptures first, go to the source first. Yeah, we're, told, we're told clearly that the, the, the spirit will guide the church all true. We're not yeah. told how, mm. and we're, but I believe, of course, the spirit has guided the scriptures. Again, even Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 2.13 yeah. that you received, talking to the, the church of Thessalonians, yeah. you received our, our scriptures not as the word of men, but the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So clearly, like, he saw a distinction between what the church was saying and what he had to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he's the authority of the time, why are we not looking at what he says first and then seeing how the church progresses? Yeah, yeah. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And then you can see where the church diverted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I find it very clear 
that even in Eastern Orthodoxy, for example, yeah. if you don't believe in veneration, veneration icons, yeah, you're anathema. Yeah, I've yeah, been, I've been li um, looking into that as well. It's like because it doesn't make sense as well because it's like obviously it con oh, it contradicts Exodus 20 where it clearly says you know not to you know have any graven image and not to bow down or worship it. I know they say they don't worship it, but they're still bowing down to it. Well, it gets like, worse, in fact, because the Book of Isaiah. Yeah. Yeah. in chapter 30 yeah. and even in chapter 40 yeah. it will tell us that they will throw away talking about the future Israel yeah, yeah, will yeah. throw away their graven images and their icons yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that's yeah. if the church has icons and graven images that's not a church yeah because that's talking about Gentiles as well by the way because it's yeah. a future covenant mm, yeah. so it's just yeah it's, it's clear yeah. from the Bible yeah, yeah. yeah. we don't and, do that and also like with icons as well like is it true that the first icon came like 500 years after Christ or something like that or like hundreds of years after you know the time the apostles was like the first icon so it's like how would they know what like are the icons supposed to actually be depictions of what say Jesus and the apostles and saints or whatever look like or is it like how do they justify that like or? well they, they claim that Saint Luke painted the first icon Right. The problem is Eusebius says this in the 6th century right. and he doesn't cite a source. Right, okay, so you're just... So we only have yeah. one testimony saying this. Tertullian and Origen will yeah. claim that our images should not be in the church. Yeah. And I think, well, these are early yeah. church fathers, okay? Yeah. Although the Roman Catholic Eastern Orthodox Church will shun them, they're still early. Yeah, yeah, and in yeah. fact, for the first 400 years, I've looked at it. Yeah. Tertullian, Clement of Rome, Clement of Alexandria, none of them mention that icon should be in the church. So, yeah. and even, you know, for example, there's a canon it yeah. found in 309. It's called yeah. the Canon of Laodicea. Oh, yeah. In that canon, you, it says there'll be no images within the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not permissible to have images. Mm. Basically, that's what it says. Yeah. That's why all the iconoclast, you know, stuff was happening, in it? Where, like, they were trying to... Uh, wasn't it, a, was it an early church father who actually um, kind of uh, protested against that and started, like, breaking icons? I can't remember who it was. Like, someone was breaking icons, like... Early on, like I, I the, don't, I, I can't think of anybody. I yeah. think maybe Tertullian, maybe because he was very staunch against yeah. icons. Yeah. He did not like iconography. The yeah. same with Origen, yeah. Yeah. and I believe Clement of Rome not, wouldn't yeah. have liked. Uh, if, he, if he had enough writings, unfortunately, we've only got his letter to the Corinthians. Yeah. But I believe if we did, I'm pretty sure he would be against it as well. Yeah. Because yeah. the weight of evidence is for the first 400 years of the church, mm. it was just iconoclasm. Yeah. And then we get to High Era, which is a church council, yeah. which says that there shouldn't there shouldn't be any images in the church. This is a church council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then later what happens is an emperor in Greece comes along into the church. Mm. And then yeah. the church then agrees in the Council of Nicaea too mm. that there should be icons and anathematizes yeah. anybody who doesn't believe in that. Yeah, yeah. Like, and don't you have to like kiss yeah. the icons or something like you as you go to, into it? Yeah, that's, them, yeah. that's wild. Is it, that, that almost them. seems like satanic. It's like you're going into a church and they're forcing you to basically do something which is like blasphemous. Yeah, like, if you mock it, them, then essentially yeah. you're anathema. Yeah, yeah. That's, seems, that's not Christianity. It genuinely just seems like a fear tactic almost. Like, uh, yeah. that's what I think it is. And it's like, yeah, it's, oh, man, it's crazy. And it's the same thing they do with Mary as well because it's like there's no evidence, obviously, in the Bible, of course, or even in early, like the first centuries, that like you know the assumption, bodily assumption of Mary or immaculate conception, right? Like, isn't that something that was really late as well? Like, the, yeah, the body assumption was very late. It was yeah. dogmatized by Rome in 1960. Yeah, that's crazy. After the incident at Fatima, right? There was an incident at Fatima where it was supposed to be 70,000 people saw yeah. Mary. But yeah. we've got no real proof of that other than the testimony of a few people. Right. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit spurious. Yeah, yeah, no worries. That's fine. That's fine. No, it's, it, yeah. That's why I don't agree with it. The other thing is the perpetual virginity thing doesn't work biblically because we're told clearly that Mary had other sons, brothers and sisters. Yeah, we're yeah, told. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, they're always twisting scripture to like say like, yeah. oh, that was like Joseph's former family or something. Well, like, now what they will do is they'll, say, they'll claim the Greek word does not breed brothers and sisters. Yeah. It does. Yeah, no, it even mentions yeah. James and John, for example. They are brothers. Like right? you and I believe that. The early yeah. church believed that. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. same word in Greek is used for the brothers of Jesus Christ and the sisters. Yeah. That's the same word that's yeah. used for James and John being the brothers and obviously yeah. the sons of Zebedee. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Do you think... Um, like, why, why do you think it is they care so much about like 
um, you know, venerating Mary to this level, which is because obviously I believe that Mary was a woman of great faith who God used. You know, um, I think they they, they straw man, you know, Protestants. I wouldn't even consider myself necessarily a Protestant because, like, like yourself, I remember you saying like, you know, Martin Luther being like anti-Semitic. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, Martin Luther was one. And, 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 <laughs> and he, he believed in like infant baptism, yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. and stuff. So I, I I don't even know if I call myself a Protestant, but I guess like for sake Protestant of Protestant is a term we were given by the Catholic Church. Yeah, I don't, exactly. I don't have to call myself. <laughs> That's yeah. what they give us, okay? Yeah, exactly. I'm just a Bible believing, born again Christian. That's yeah. why I call myself. Yeah. One, because it's very clear that we have to follow God's words. That's yeah, 2 yeah. Timothy 3 16, which yeah. are God breathed. Yeah. And two, because Jesus Christ says you must be born again to be entering the kingdom of God yeah, yeah, in John yeah. 3. Yeah. So I, I, I just simply claim that that's why I am. I affirm what scripture says. And any, anything outside of scripture, I test it by the way of scripture. Yeah, test every spirit. Okay, so that, but, but as, as for Protestants, nah, I don't use that term. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but it always seems like they straw man are like yeah. non, let's say non traditionalists, like who, and they'll say, like, oh, you disrespect Mary, you hate Mary. But it's like, yeah. but it's like, it literally, you know, Luke 147, like she says she needs a savior. So exactly. it's like, how do they, how can you, how can someone who's sinless need a savior? Like, it doesn't really it make sense. It gets worse because yeah. they claim that she, of course, was sinless, right? Yeah. Luke yeah. 135 tells us that she, she was given the Holy Spirit at a specific time. If she right. was sinless, she would have had this Holy Spirit in turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay. That's crazy. You see, yeah. that's the problem. Mm, yeah. the, the other issue is that Christ is the only one who was sinless according to the Bible. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. Like, Mary yeah. would have been alive when Paul says there's no one good, not one. No yeah, one seeks yeah. after God, no one understands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, how do you read that and then interpret yeah. Mary as sinless? No, no one but Mary and uh, like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, they're just reading that into it. I feel like, yeah, with Romans, it seems like they read quite a few things into sex. Like, you know, something which I think just debunks the whole idea that you need works at all to be saved. And it's just faith alone, by grace, you know, grace through faith alone, yeah. is Romans 4, 5, you know, but to him that work, if not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So it's like, but then I, I remember I watched um, Sig and Need God, like uh, Needgod.net, like they were debating and then Sig tried saying like, oh, but that's works of the law. Like, and even if I granted that, I'm thinking, wait, but like aren't the 10 commandments included in the works of the law? So you're saying that like I could, according to you, I could go out and murder someone. And technically, because that's works of the law, like, you would have to say like in Romans 4 5 it's saying like you could be a murderer and just have faith anyway so it doesn't to me I, I don't know if you thought about that but like to me it seems like that doesn't by saying it's works of the law doesn't really seem to help the case like or maybe they're just talking about ceremonial laws but still like like they're just having to contextually read. Romans 3 verse 28 says right that we are saved by faith not by true faith not by works yeah. okay and before that Paul was mentioning the deeds that the, the Jews were claiming they were doing. Yeah, right? Yeah. You say you do this, but what about this? You know what I mean? You're talking, yeah. about, you're talking about Romans 2, by the way. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, I have to get that up to explain it fully. Yeah, In Romans 2, these are not. These are just people claiming, oh, you didn't do this, but you did this. These are just yeah. random things. Yeah. And then Paul's going on to put their hypocrisy later on. And then stating in Romans 3, no, you're not saved by those things you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those righteous things you think you're doing, you're not saved by those. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. the difference he's making clearly in Romans 4, 5. So he's talking about righteous deeds. He's not talking yeah. about the law itself. Yeah, he doesn't even yeah. say the law. Normally when Paul would mention law, he would say the law. He yeah, doesn't mention the law. law. Yeah, and that's like in Galatians, he's explicitly saying more often works of the law, you know, are justified by faith and not the deeds of the law. I don't know if I'm misquoting that, but it's like, along those type of lines, right? Yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, he would say it if he meant it, you know. And he so, said anybody who's yeah. under the law is under a curse, so why yeah. would he try to promote the law? Yeah, exactly. That doesn't make yeah. any sense. Yeah, exactly. You see, as, as we go through scripture, you'll find over and over again, it doesn't promote the Roman Catholic or the Eastern Orthodox, yeah. or unfortunately, the Armenian Gospel. Yeah. Exactly. Um, those who believe that, unfortunately, that they may be able to lose their salvation, mm -hmm. or, yeah. I'm sorry, no. Nah. Yeah, no. Because then what are you yeah. preaching to other people? Are you yeah. preaching a free gift? Yeah, or exactly. the free gift that you have to work with. You know, like yeah, those gym like memberships. It's, talking, like. <laughs> it's like kind of like, yeah, that's what I'm, you know, that's that's a, as just as big a problem to me, in, in in my opinion, as like the Catholic and Orthodox thing to say, like, you know, Protestants, uh, like who will say like, oh, well, like you, if you're truly saved, then you will have faith. But then that, again, Romans 4, 5 contradicts that, you know, because that person doesn't have any works. But then it's like, as well, it's like, 
it's kind of like it's either you're saved by faith or you're saved by works. That's what uh, Romans eleven six says, right? Like, see, if it's by you know, if it's by grace, there's no more of works, right? And and vice versa. So, um, yeah, he, he distinguishes between the grace of God yeah. and the works of man. Yeah. Because if it's of if it's of works, then it's of debt, and that, that yeah. means that God owes us heaven. Mm. But God does not owe us heaven. That's his point. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah, even yeah, quotes exactly. the Old Testament where David says, "Blessed is a man to whom." The gods will not impute not, sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will not grant sin on your account. Yeah. So how dare these Roman Catholics and unfortunately false Christians yeah. tell us that no, he will impute sin or not? Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, what for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. We're not even having a debate as well. Like, yeah, no, 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 I want you to talk and engage you. I mean, I, I don't care. I mean, I guess yeah, I get. Yeah. So, uh, As you can feel it, you know. <laughs> free country, I suppose. <laughs> By the way, when you're oh, ready, somebody wants to speak to you briefly. But... Yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Hey, uh, you know what? You know what? That's you know. We, we could. I feel like we could speak forever about this. Yeah, you know, but yeah, there's obviously people who need to be saved and, and that. So yeah, I'm gonna go find my my fiance and that. But, God bless. What's yeah, your name again, bro? I'm Oli, man. Oli, my name's. John, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, you probably yeah, know yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably pop up on one of your live streams or something. Oh, so nice. Yes, you should. You should. Way, I, should. Actually, I was talking to me, but I did watch a video you made of us, and you, I don't know, I didn't hear, yeah. but you said you didn't agree with us. What? I, 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 I didn't agree with us. Uh, with uh, oh, the stuff of yeah, yeah, Corner. Yeah, yeah. And I was. I, yeah. yeah, you know what? I, I admit, actually, you know, I take that back, actually. Because yeah. at the time, I was thinking, you know what? I don't like the way which, like, you were, like, going like super super hard on them yeah. but now that i understand you were trying to speak to like you said like after a second yeah. admonition you know you're speaking in private i was still, i was like quite early into like yeah. understanding the situation about all that and it's kind of like you know the fruits of the spirit is like kindness patience etc so like from a surface level view it's kind of like i felt a bit conflicted because it's kind of like you see like bob and stuff it's like you know like you guys you had a lot of respect for him in the past mm. and stuff um, no, Steve, but, we're nearly done. One minute, sorry. Please. <laughs> yeah, carry on. Yeah. But like I said, you know. So when like, the, just, no, I understand, fair enough. When, so when, just after Christy, when David goes after Mansur, mm. do you think that's off putting or is okay because he's a Muslim? Just being uh, honest, because I think it's hypocritical for them. We, don't, mm. we only approach these people three or four times. Oh, yeah, it's I'd, not I'd, like we go I'd every week. I just want to add briefly that yeah. before that, which wasn't seen on camera, and this is why the camera yeah. doesn't show everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because before that, in fact, the whole crowd of people here, mm. who unfortunately some of them were ethno nationalists, yeah, yeah, yeah. when Amy had gone over to come from Bob and she was preaching the gospel to him. Mm. Right, we are a speaker's now. Mm. Okay, yeah, they, yeah. they had shouted at her, you know, yeah. um, telling her something like, shame on you, shame on you. Yeah, 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 and that yeah. for me is crowd bullying. Yeah, yeah, no, so yeah, I, I, yeah. I obviously, I became a bit upset by that. Yeah. Obviously, I, I wasn't my best. Yeah. But yeah, again, yeah, it was yeah. very loud. I couldn't even yeah. hear myself. You know what it is? You know what I mean? Right? You know it, it was it's like, just about... None of us are perfect. You know, all of us are called sin. We sin every single day. You know, I probably sin, like, in this conversation that we've had, that we were having, you know. Potentially, I've been judgmental towards, like, you could say, like, unrighteously unjudgmental unju or something. You know, only God knows, right? You know, and I can admit when I'm wrong, you know, about stuff. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's one of them ones where it's like, you know, None of us are going to be perfect in the way we walk. No, but it's people. Anyway, there are many in a rush to go, but it's people's soul is at stake. Mm, amen. Yeah, yeah. And I that's agree. why. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you can, you you mm. might have heard the Catholic Church yesterday. Mm. Now is saying to people that all religions lead to God. Oh, no, no, that's terrible. And uh, yeah, so called yeah, yeah. JC, that he's he's actually gaslighting people in a WhatsApp group. Mm. I know because I have people who listen, yeah, 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 yeah. telling them no, he didn't mean it that way. Mm. So he's even lying no, because no, no, he can't exactly. even face. Anyway, sorry to interrupt this because he really wants to speak to us, but yes, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, so John is going to have a private conversation with somebody. Um, so I'm just going to walk around. Um, I'm not filming you, I'm just saying that I'm going to walk around because you're having a private conversation. Is uh, He wants to arrange a meeting. Okay, I did say we don't have the church meeting, but we can arrange a meeting for coffee. You can explain yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry. Yeah, so John is having a private conversation. Um, so, yeah, that remains private. So I'm just going to show you Speaker's Corner um, today. Oh, this thing is kind of in the way, actually. But... Um, well, maybe I'll do it this way then instead. Um, 
Yeah, so it's interesting. I didn't hear the conversation with that guy um, because uh, I was talking to this other guy who was having a conversation with John. But I do find it hypocritical, again, that, you know, the so-called Revelation viewers, they cheer, you know, David on and others on when they go and hustle the Muslim Dawah. Oh, look, they don't want to speak. But then the few times that we have approached them, we're evil, we're demonic, we're harassing. It's so hypocritical, really. Um, but never mind, you know. What can we expect, you know, from these people, really? Um, so, this is, uh, this guy's a true Christian, he's preaching, and he has um, the Israeli flag and the British flag. Um, so, so, I don't actually know what's going on in this. So, anyway, yeah, thank you. God bless you. Um, So unfortunately, a lot of the people that come to Speaker's Corner, they come here all the time. So, um, you know, but by, by the grace of God, we always find people to speak to, you know, because God will always send somebody that needs to hear the gospel. Um, I do preach Christianity, but in here specifically at Speaker's Corner, there is a vast majority of Muslims. And so that's the demographics. Um, you know, but we actually do talk to all people of all religions. And actually, I would say Roman Catholicism is worse than Islam. Um, and if we do find Catholics in here today, we would gladly speak to them even before we speak to Muslims. Um, you know, so this is a debate about Israel. It's open to the public on Sunday. I mean, it's not a gated community as such. It's just in the park, which is open every day. But um, it's happening every Sunday afternoon, except for Christmas. It doesn't happen on Christmas, if it, Christmas happens to fall on a Sunday. Yeah. So again, these conversations, have been had before. Uh, now I've seen these people talking already, like him. Um, I think he has mental health issues, this Jewish Christian there, and the 80s next to him, you know, teaming up together. Um, it's not fruitful. I mean, I guess sometimes it can be fruitful to film these conversations if there are people watching online, but certainly to talk to the same people over and over about the same thing is madness. Unless it's your family, I guess, then you do have to talk about the same stuff repeatedly. Uh, so maybe this is a bit more interesting. So I've never seen these people before, actually. Anyway, so I, I was actually just talking to a Muslim lady off camera, this one with the white scarf. Um, and she didn't want to speak to me on camera. Um, I find it interesting when I see Western women converting to Islam. I really can only bring it down to ignorance. Um, because honestly, how can a, a woman, you know, convert to Islam when it, Islam teaches misogyny. Um, but we can't force people to speak, obviously, and 
um, but it's just ignorance. I would love to speak to a convert, um, but they don't because they want, they're ignorant, they don't read the scripture and they want to re remain um, ignorant, you know, obviously. <laughs> Uh, there is more hope for... Yeah, he said he wants to meet me up, so I mean... Yeah. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to tell you on camera, but he's just saying he wants to meet me up. I know, I was talking to him. Yeah. Um, I, did, I thought he was actually going to have a discussion with me. No, he wanted to arrange hey, to meet hey, with you. How are you doing? Um, no, I think a lot of Muslims who convert, they just, they're ignorant. You know, I think the Muslims who are born into it, they have some knowledge and obviously they can justify the fact that their parents maybe raised them that way, they have a lot to lose if they left their religion and they're actually more interested in reading about, you know, uh, conversing with someone like me. But these Western converts, they don't know anything about their religion, they just, uh, perhaps they meet a man who tells them to become a Muslim and he'll marry them or perhaps they'll meet a community of people that will take them in and they just have no idea what the scripture teaches about women uh, the hatred of women um, you know the fact that women are worthless uh, the fact that women are subjugated um, and they're slaves basically in Jannah and um, they don't know this information um, and when Trump, someone like me usually tries to approach them, they don't want to know, <laughs> sadly. Hey, why quote the Bible if you're not going to believe in it? Come, on. <laughs> Let me, come with me. Excuse, excuse me, madam, because I saw you talking to that guy. Yes. Can I, what was the conversation about? Uh, I just wanted to speak uh, with them about Quran. Uh, Do you want to speak to me? I have a Quran on me. Yeah, I, I'm a Christian, so... Uh, oh, I'm Christian as well. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, you're wearing your head covering because you want to evangelize with your head no, covering? No, I was uh, diagnosed with cancer for stage. Oh, and wow. And I was miraculously... It, it, it's a true story. I was miraculously healed. Uh -huh. I can tell you very shortly. So, of course, I wanted to rely on God. Definitely. Uh, you yeah. can switch your face, maybe it's not very Oh, it's live streaming. Okay, okay. It's good for people watching. Uh, yeah, yeah, in, in this case it's okay. So, uh, I was diagnosed with cancer for stage, and um, of course I wanted to rely on God's uh, word fully, so I prayed, uh, and people prayed over me, and even I prayed with the underworld ministry people, and they said me, one person who prays, they said, you are free from cancer, it's cancer, you it's done and actually when oh, wow. uh, yeah and actually when i came home i felt much better straight away but because of sam you know like peter he walked on the uh, waters but then he could see waves and he was afraid uh, frightened so uh, i succumbed to the chemo chemotherapy and uh, after free chemo they needed to do an uh, operation and uh, before the operation they uh, made a scan and scan showed that even though uh, chemo was sort of successful fourth stage means that still a lot of uh, uh, cancer in all my abdomen and i was invited in an office and i was said by a surgeon you see on the screen Cancer is here, cancer is there, cancer is here, cancer is here. When we do your operation, we probably need to cut off some parts of uh, other organs, etc. And uh, you can end up with having a bug, and it's, uh, we need to take aggressive approach, ha harsh approach to it. So it was something like that. And then there was an operation, they cut me, <laughs> huge, and they couldn't find any traces of cancer. Oh, wow. Praise God. I repeatedly asked them, what you saw there, what happened? It was a variant cancer, but at least my ovaries and my other reproductive organ can uh, um, have marks of remnants or scars of cancer. They say, no, we couldn't find anything visible by that. So uh, instead of five hours, three hours, I was uh, Stitched, then they made another scan, 
and this scan showed that no cancer at all. And I was uh, declared cancer free. So you see, scan before operation, operation show no cancer, next scan says no cancer. What happened between? I honestly would like to see their faces and hear what they were talking, when they are looking for cancer in my head. So I was miraculously here. Yeah. Oh, wow, crazy so, to go. Yeah, and uh, after that, you know, if you experience such a miracle, I, of course, uh, believe I believe it many years. You cannot just stay at home and uh, sit and say, pray the Lord, I'm healed. So I'm here to share gospel. I'm here just to share my... So why did you want to speak to Muslims with the, or Muslims about the Quran? Um, yeah, actually, Muslims... Uh, people created by God and God. I was just telling this lady here by the way about this lady I can show her back she didn't uh -huh. want to speak to me I was telling my audience that Muslim women Western women who convert to Islam I think they're ignorant because I don't believe they read the Quran I don't believe they read the Hadith they don't like to even talk to Christians they just like no I don't want to know and this is how people end up in hell because they don't they don't want to open their mind you know, because I think, how can you submit to a religion that calls you inferior, that treats you as inferior? How can you do that, you know? Uh, and um, Yeah, yeah uh, I completely agree. Uh, so, and uh, I think they, my it's my version. They came in thousands and in millions into Europe to hear gospel. Yeah, example, yeah, I agree with this. How yeah. can I go to Syria or Jordan or whatever, Iran, Iraq, whatever, to preach the gospel? It's quite difficult. It can be very dangerous. But I can... They no, I believe, I believe that, you know, by the grace of God, these people have been allowed into Europe to hear the gospel. I suppose my... Um, Difficulty is with Western women, you know, women who look like me and you were born in Europe who become Muslims, you know, and they don't have any idea of Islam. But regardless, I suppose there will always be people like this, but you know, um, I suppose we preach the gospel to everyone, yes. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. If, and if you know someone who is about to marry a Muslim guy, actually, of course, there is a plenty of material on Google. You can give them it. If you cannot speak yourself, you can give them just to read about this culture, about this uh, everything, so that they can make <laughs> So they know what they're signing up to. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, before saying I do, just yeah, Quran 434 says you can be beaten as a woman. I guess it's good for them to know that that's part of the marriage covenant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I haven't studied this. Uh, no, it says yeah. you can beat your wife, you know, uh, if she disobeys you. So, and then a lot of Muslims they deny this, so they say, oh, we mean lightly, but we know that domestic violence is very prevalent amongst the Muslim population because this is allowed by their God. You know, and this is so disgusting, I think, um, you know. Yeah, yeah, I agree, agree, yeah. Have you spoken to this lady? Which, Which one? this girl? No. With this dress? No, 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 no. Have you spoken no, to No, no, because I, I want to ask if you want to do an interview. No, no, you. Yeah, no, come yeah. with me, because oh, maybe I'm not. Gonna... I guess she's a, a certain sect of Christianity. Orthodox? No, it's maybe from uh, Africa. Somewhere. Ethiopian? Ethiopian, yeah, we, we can ask her. Okay, yeah, I can. Uh, anyway. anyway, there is a big crowd because Bob is uh, in there preaching and, um, you know, he's a false teacher and people like to have their ears tickled, you know, and that's it. Um, so, never mind, never mind, it's fine. I mean, people want to hear Bob. Be careful, that man, Bob, in the middle, he's a false teacher. He comes in the name of Jesus, he's a heretic, and that's why there is a big crowd around him, he's preaching heresy, be careful. Okay. Uh, what kind of heresy he's speaking? He believes in Mary worship, he believes in ecumenism, he believes that when you eat the body of Christ that leads you to salvation, he doesn't believe in hell, he believes all denominations of Christianity are okay, um, so that therefore he affirms the papacy, he affirms Eastern Orthodoxy, um, and other heresies, you know, um, and he's for teaching, you know. But what is preaching now? I don't know, but he likes to talk about Islam, but 
I'm just saying that he has a big crowd because he's a false teacher. And you know, the Bible says people who are false teachers, they get, they get a lot of uh, likes from people. In fact, it says to you, what you when people praise you so much? Because that's how they treated the false prophets. You know, when you're preaching the truth, people will hate you and you will be in a minority. But false teachers will have a big crowd like Bob has today. He has a big crowd because he's false teaching. Anyway, anyway, uh, I would like to check on him because uh, I spoke to my friend and my friend knows Bob in person. Yeah, and he said me that he. Do you believe fine. in faith alone, to salvation? Faith alone? Do you believe you must be born again? And, you know, do you believe in faith to be saved? Uh, yes, of course. Right. So why don't you ask him how do you get to heaven? You know, ah. and he will. You know, how do you get to heaven? Or how can you end up in hell? You should ask him this question, and yes, then he will, I'll, I'll uh, you know. But he will, he's very deceptive, so he will try um, to kind of, yeah, but he, he is a false teacher. That needs to be exposed. We try to expose him. Some people woke up to this. Most people haven't. Is he in the hat or in a, without hat? Uh, he's wearing the green jumper. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we have to warn people of Bob. You know, I'm not here to persecute Bob, but he is Speaker's Corner. And a lot of Christians who come here for the first time or recently, they think, oh, he's a great guy, he's a great teacher. I used to think that. Um, John used to think that and many others did and then when you kind of get to know him and what he believes in then you realize it's false teaching um, and people need to be warned because perhaps they don't know and it can save them time um, but what I do know um, you know is that I have attended these classes before they're not well attended and um, you know people I think they get disillusioned once they attend personal classes with him and they realize he's a false teacher and he doesn't He's not really making sense. Um, I'm sorry, what is your question, intelligent atheist? Um, and I can't really... What is it? I mean, I would suggest, intelligent atheism, that you come on a live stream with John. I'm sure the views you have. I'm interested. Well, why does it matter? I want to know. Why is it illegal to know? But why does... 52 are watching. Wow, that's a lot of people. It doesn't matter how many people watch. Are you going to heaven if you die today? I don't know. Only God knows. Right, but what do you believe in, sir? I believe in Allah. Yeah, Allah is a moon god. I, I don't know if you smoked something today or you're off something, but I don't know where you got that from. From your mask. You have a moon on your Can mask. Can you show me? Why do you have a moon? Can you show me any hadith or Quran that says have a moon on the mask? I don't know. To be honest, look, I'm the wrong person to talk about this. Do you want to talk about the Quran with me? I have a Quran in my bag. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, what, what do you want to talk about? The Quran. What about the Quran, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, so, so what do you think of the Quran? I believe it's a book of lies. Is it? Yeah. Have you read the whole book? Yeah, I so, have. Look, I can show you. Okay, so, so show me a, a, show me a lie. I would like to know They're a lie. All, it, no, no, no. Show me a lie. You said it's all lies. I want to see a lie. Prove me wrong. Well, it's saying, you know, Jesus is not God. And oh, okay. God so, doesn't have a son. So That's where's, a lie. where's the lie? That's the lie. Because can you show God me? is triune. Can you show me? God is triune. Oh, can you show me the lie, please? We can go through all the lies if you Okay, yeah. Let's, let's go through the lies. Let's go. Let's go ahead. I've proved to me as well that it's a lie. Yeah, I want to see proof that it's a lie. Well, if it... No, no, no listen. Madam, prove me wrong. I want to see this. Show me the lie and show me proof it's a lie. Okay, can you read for me, please? No, you read it. I, I don't want to read. Why? You just Is read it. Quran? I'm asking you. Okay, relax yourself. Okay. Okay, fine. so in Surah 297, it says, Say, O Muhammad, to mankind, who is an enemy to Gabriel, but it is he who has revealed the scripture to your heart, by Allah's permission, confirm that which was revealed before it, and as a guidance and glad tidings to believers. Okay, Do you no, agree with this statement? No, to be, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a Muslim, but like, how do I explain it? I'm, I'm learning about the books. And okay, I'm still okay. young, so I need some time. Are you over 18? 
Yeah, I'm over 18, yeah. Because I wouldn't want to speak to you if you... No, I'm over no, 18, that's yeah, okay. but, but I just, I don't know a lot. No, that's I know okay. some knowledge, but okay. look, put it, put it this way. Read the book, read it. I have read it. No, yeah, it, to, to but be I honest... I have read it more than you did, probably. Yeah, you then. probably did, yeah, okay. but you probably read it just to find the lies and give it, give it an excuse to come here and say this is a lie. Can you show me proof that it's a lie, Alex? But I, let me discuss this verse. Okay. Okay, so, you know, I'm not, look, I'm here because I don't know you, I'm married, so I'm not here to try okay, on you, well, but well, I, well. I love you as a human being, as a fellow, like, and I don't want you to go to her, so I want you to know, I'm not saying this to be antagonistic and to uh, humiliate you or humiliate your God, I'm just saying that this is a contradiction because, and let me explain to you, for example, this is one verse out of 50, where it's confirming the previous scripture, so, can I ask you, do you know, for example, which scripture it is? If not, I'll tell you. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I look, I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that's what I'm uh, asking. I don't I'm want not, to I'm not the, like, the right person. I'm not like... Okay, this. but I'm not... Look, I've spoken to many of the people here. I, I, you, I've never seen you before. Do you know that, you know, allegedly Allah wrote the Bible? Who told you that? I, I, it tells you in here, this is what it says, so when it says to you that it is you has revealed this picture, right, confirming that was revealed before it, right, okay, you don't know because you haven't studied it, but do you know that it's talking about the Bible? Because, do you know, have you heard of this before? Yeah, so the, so the, the point is that Allah, you know, allegedly he brought down the Torah and the Gospel to the Jews, to Jesus. Have you heard? Of Je is Jesus one of your prophets? Yeah, yeah, okay. Isa alayhi salam. Okay, is Moses one of your prophets? I, I think so, yeah. Is Jacob one of your prophets? So, yeah. Okay, so these people, right, where do you find them before the Quran? In the Bible? Well, you don't know, but I'm just saying, do you know? So they are in the Bible. So this is a big contradiction. This is mentioned about 50 times. This is just one verse. I Because once I did a research, and it's about 50 times that it's saying about the Gospel Torah, now, what they, if you ask a Muslim, what they will say to you is that um, the Bible is corrupt. But the Quran tells you that Allah's word cannot be corrupted. Yeah, but uh, sorry to offend you or anything, but no, I've seen videos. I've seen videos of like one verse from the Bible and then the same verse in the same Bible, but changed up a bit. So what I, it I saw the video from here. Yeah, I understand. But uh, from the looks of it, 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 it looks like a human a human's written that down. No. no, so what it is is that, for example, this is a translation, right? So even if I get a Quran on my phone and I look at different translation, or even I have the glorious Quran, if I go to the Muslim Dawah, they have and they have like another translation, so the words are not the but same. But be honest, have you actually sat down and read the whole Quran and taken your time to done all your I research? I did, I did, that's why I didn't just but highlight for fun. No, no, like nothing in, nothing in there is a lie, it's all so proven as well. Nothing in there is a lie. <laughs> there, there, are, there are lies. The, where are the lies? Well, that's what I'm not understanding. Well, like I said to you, you know, for example, the God of the... So if, the, if this book, for example, says that it's confirming the scripture before it, right? First of all, there has no, to be. It, it's but it's not. Look, this is about your soul and your salvation, and all you can do. Look, all you can. All I can challenge you to do is, is not to, for you to win a debate with me or win a conversation. It's for you to actually do what I did, and read the Bible yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. I mean, this is the issue because. Islam is a cult, and that's why... Because you just told him to walk away. No, that's a cult no, behavior. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. no, you. this is a you, cult. You me I walked away because I don't know. No, you said I leave it. Know. Leave I it. I because I don't know. Yeah, no, you told him it's, Islam is a cult. That's why people like you tell others like him to walk How away. Because your religion is a cult. That's why people cannot think for themselves, you know. And, uh, you know, Islam is a cult. I hope I planted a seed. And I would say, you know, he was honest. He didn't read the Quran. Um, but I would say, read the Bible. I've read your, uh, I don't want to swear, nonsense Quran. Uh, it's a pack of lies. Um, Muslims should read the Bible, you know. Uh, yeah, Kev, I hope I planted a seed. Unfortunately, we don't have Gospels on us today. Um, my friends forgot to bring these gospel books we normally have, but even if I did, he probably wouldn't take it. He wouldn't be allowed to bring it at home. Um, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, the devil took him away.
uh, but I can't force people to speak to me, um, you know, uh, and that's it really. So I'm going to see where John is right now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about, Vantra. Anyway, I'm going to look for John now. I'm going to look for John because otherwise he might get annoyed with me that I'm using this. Yeah. And this is a reality for a lot of Muslims is that they don't actually read the Quran. As I was saying earlier, obviously the lady with the hijab I was talking to, she wasn't a Muslim I was referring to if you were listening 20 minutes ago. Um, but a lot of them, sorry. Gosh, a lot of them don't read the Quran. Um, they don't know about Muhammad. They don't read the Hadith. <clears throat> At the most, they wear a hijab. At the most, they pray five times a day. At the most, they don't eat pork. Um, they don't really go to the mosque. At least the women don't because they're banned, because they menstruate. Um, and that's as far as Islam goes. Hijab, no pork. Ramadan and then go and worship the God in Mecca. That's Islam for most Muslims. Um, and when they actually read the sources and they realize that their prophet was disgusting and, um, and they realize they're better human beings than um, he ever was, then they leave Islam. Is Christ. He is the ultimate mediator. I'm sorry, she just gave me the mic. I didn't know if you wanted to go on camera. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> she just gave me the mic out of the blue. So that's the point. I mean, look, I. In the same way Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through him. Exactly. This I agree. Uh, why can't I also speak to Mary? Because there's no points. But I like her. Look, 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 the thing is, like, it's like Muslims. It's like Muslims who say they love Allah. I love her, bro. I love her, bro. It's probably Mary, bro. I love Mary. But what I say is, Mary cannot be my mediator between the throne of God because she didn't recognize her. But there's the difference, right? You're not respecting her. In fact, you are blaspheming her. What? Yep, I'm going to prove to you, okay? What does she say in Luke 1? I don't know. She says to the Lord God, I'm your handmaiden, okay? Roman Catholics believe that Mary was right the stain of original sin. Yeah, Mary, Mary yes. clearly was given the Holy Spirit at some point in Luke 1.35. Yeah, the, the, the annunciation. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's the difference, okay? The other big important thing was, is that she considered Christ to be her slave, her handmaiden. Yeah. So if Christ is her, if Christ is her handmaiden, and she views Christ above herself, and she and John 4 also points people to Christ, I don't need to go to her. I need to go to Christ. I need to do what he says. Now, Jesus Christ in Matthew 6, already gave us a formula of how to pray. Does he mention any other saint in that passage? No. Okay. So Jesus Christ is your Lord. He's your God, correct? He's the one that sets the standard of prayer, correct? So why are you not doing what he says? I mean, I'm doing both. I mean, I'm also praying, asking Jesus for stuff. I'm also asking for saints to help me out. But you shouldn't be. I don't. There's nothing that says you shouldn't. Okay, look, look, the thing is, there's nothing that says in the Bible you shouldn't masturbate. There's no passion that says that. You're equating no, 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 I'm not doing that at all. I'm saying that. that there are many injunctions in the Bible that claim, claim things, but there are clear injunctions of how we should live out our life as Christians. The Bible says in Hebrews 7.25 that Christ lives to intercede for us daily. Imagine Christ says in Romans 3.20, I knock on the door of your heart, okay? If you let me in, I'll stop with you. Imagine you said to Christ, you know what? I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm going to ask Mary instead of asking you. I mean, I ask both. He's not telling you to ask both. He's saying rely upon me. He even says himself, which the church gets wrong. He says, I'm the bread of life. I'm the bread that fell from heaven. Okay? Eat, eat my flesh, drink my blood. Do you think that's the Eucharist? No, that's relying upon him. Which I'm not doing. It's both. You should not be relying upon. Where do you get the idea you should not be? Like, where is the issue? From the consistent narrative of scripture. Asking, look, asking Mary for graces whilst also relying on Can Mary on give Jesus. grace? She can send graces can down. Can you show me where the Bible says she can send graces down? It's not in the Bible. It's from church. Okay, thank you. So we've already established that the apostles did not function the way your church does then. You've told me yourself. That's not in the Bible, which was written by the apostles and, and Jesus Christ on the guided, but your church has something different to that. So you've just proved that your church is functioning differently than the apostles. 
You're not trusting Christ, my friend. That's not true. I believe the church at the start functioned like the church today. Uh, the church that and I yet that to, same church. I believe. I believe the church. And yet that same second, church no, never second. taught can ban graces through Mary. I mean, it did. It's not in the scripture. Of course, it, it is. Did, it did teach it, like prayers, prayers to ask for graces from God, saints, spirit, the entire community so of saints. Which, which fathers do you affirm? Do you affirm Irenaeus of Leon? They all did. Okay. No, do you affirm Irenaeus? Do you believe Irenaeus of Leon is a church father? I didn't read that far. But he is. Okay, he says in, in chapter 2, book 2, of Against Heresies, he says that we do not pray or invoke to angels. Okay. 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 Tertullian, in his book on prayer, says we pray to the Father through the Son, Lord Jesus Christ. You can look all of this stuff up in the line to you. The church, which I've read for the first 500 years, I was in East Norfolk, so I looked this stuff up. The church for the first 500 years did not pray to any saints. And yeah, I've, got, I've got so much files, yeah, bro. Today, you have to come to my channel. Yeah, but today, like, look, I'm, the reason I'm back to the faith is thanks to a saint. You're telling me to forsake that? Yes. No. Because you're not in the faith. But you're, that, you're in, you're sorry, in a church. You're in the whole of Babylon. Than you. No, they weren't. The Bible says there's no one good, not one. You can only be good through Jesus Christ, through his righteousness, which you are sanctified by his blood, Hebrews 10, verse 10. Again, the Bible is the authority, not any man who calls himself holy. Who wrong? Who, who compiled the Bible and ratified it? Were all your popes holy? Huh? Were all your popes holy? No. Why was it that your church deemed them to be infallible in matters of faith and doctrine? I don't have that feeling. You don't have that feeling? I don't have that. I so don't all have of a vision. sudden, when it comes to your church, you'll grieve them on some things, but not all things. Is that what you're telling me? I mean, oh, naturally, of course. Why not? What do you mean, why not? So then who's the authority then? Is, your, mean, po is I, your pope the authority? I mean, is your church the authority? I mean, do I accept that many priests have like been pedophiles? Of course not. I don't. Of course, that's many not. of them have been pedophiles in your church. That's a fact. Yeah, but including the pope himself. Yeah, but how does that forsake the monk who spent I'm, I'm his not, whole? I'm not talking about. Hold on, him. hold on. This is very. I'm talking about him. That's, hold, that's a red herring. But no, okay, fine. Now. Okay, red herrings. I could try I'm to saying, get no, you look, my, my point was, bro, is that your reliance on the church is based upon your assumptions of the church. It's not based upon what the church actually teaches because you don't care about what the church teaches. I am Eastern Catholic. We went through so much persecution. Our church is from 400 AD. By asking me to forsake that tradition. The Gnostics believe the same thing. You know, I can go to a Gnostic in this park who says, we went through so much persecution, the Cathars were killed and murdered by Roman Catholics. My church, which I'm part of, which is a Baptist church, were persecuted by Roman Catholics. Using persecution as a determinant does not work, okay? If you cannot show me the historical merit of prayers to saints and prayers to Mary from even the Bible, and I gave you the church fathers for 500 years, then it doesn't work. It's a faulty mess of physics, get a better one. Look, I like my saints, I like Mary. You're telling me you like your sins? Saints! No, 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 but that's what I'm hearing from you. You like your sins more than you like the Bible. That's fine, that's fine. John, do you want to have a chat? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because um, obviously, Amy, Amy is now your wife. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Thank you, thank you, you know but obviously me as a Catholic, yeah. right? by Catholic I'll expand that to Orthodox groups of Christians who can trace their beliefs to the uh, earliest times. I, I would challenge belief, but I would say solar ecclesia, which is basically the idea that the church is the authority equal to the church. That's why I want to have a chat with you. So we have two models. The church model and the Bible model. It yeah. seems generally, broadly speaking, these are the two ways that the groups of Christians try and navigate their belief systems and their basis on. Oh, sure. And I suppose all I can do is say, look, the evidence seems to be from the Bible that Jesus established the church to promulgate his message. And after 400 years of the church promulgating that message, we had it canonized into the canon of scripture that all Protestants and... and I, would, I would argue uh, not 400 years ago. Okay, was in the councils, let's say the councils... I, I would argue not the councils either. There was a canonized scripture yeah. before even the councils.
has existed. You've got, for example, Melito of Sardis. Sure. And I've looked this up, like, I'm telling you the truth, because yeah, yeah, I was baptized, I told you, I was baptized in the Free Anglican Church. Yeah, yeah, and of course, like, before, after that, I, I became a member of the Eastern Orthodox Church. And it, it was because I looked at history. But then when I looked again, yeah. when I read Clement of Rome, Clement of Alexandria, Melito of Sardis, yeah. when I looked at their canons of scripture, yeah. they affirm a more Protestant canon. But they weren't authoritative canons. They went to a council. They were individuals, a Marcion as well. Marcion right, but, had a canon. There were lots of canons. But when, but, can I just say this, yeah, gentlemen? Right, right, my, my, my biggest piece of evidence is the, the earliest Bibles, when I became a Christian, I went into a Bible shop, a Christian shop, and I said, I want a Bible. And he said, which one do you want? And I said, oh, you got me there. I said, the earliest one. And he goes, well, King James. <laughs> must have, I mean, hang on, the Christians were around for a lot longer than that. So in just trying to decide what Bible, I found out the, the earliest Bible is the Codex Sinaiticus. Right. Okay, has all the books we believe in, but other books in addition. And that was 360. Then we have the Vaticanus, again, with different books and different variants. Mm, and then we have the Alexandra, uh, Alexandrinus. So, Sola Scriptura Christianity could not have existed prior to the canonization of the book that we hold to a scripture. Well, you don't understand, so, so, sorry. Oh, yeah, please. Colin, you don't understand, yeah. so, so the, the Reformation, during the Reformation, Calvin and Luther outlined so scripture as this, that the scriptures, or that which is received from the church, is authoritative in matters of faith and doctrine. But it doesn't mean there aren't other sources of doctrine outside of it. So when people make the tradition, canon argument... Like tradition. Yeah, 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 like tradition. That doesn't mean that we can't infer traditions. Like, I infirm the Council of Nicaea. Okay. But the, the scripture becomes the authoritative, not because it was written down at a certain point, but because the apostles and Jesus Christ himself yeah. and God himself who inspired these scriptures is the natural authority. Sure. So that was the view. Yeah. The second thing is we have... You hold, you hold to that. That's why I hold to that. So the second thing we have, we have a list of canons before 390 when the Council of Rome happens. Yeah. We have, for example, Melito of Sardis. He has a canon. The Apostle Paul says in, in the book of Romans, he says, the Jews were given the oracles of scripture. So, sorry, the Jews were given the oracles. Sorry, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm paraphrasing it. Yeah, don't worry. Paraphrasing it. But the Jews You're were given me. You don't have to get everything. Right? Uh, yeah, 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 like, we're not all perfect, man. Yeah, and there's probably some yeah. like, people like James White who may can expand it better. Oh, yeah, go on. But generally speaking, when you, when you look at that, when you take an historical critique of what the canon is, yeah. instead of relying on a, a church council, Right. Which I'm, I, I can find church councils which you do not agree with. I, I can find it. Okay. Apostolic. So, apostolic. Apostolic. Okay. Yeah. So, I, like, for example, for example, let's say the Council of Sardica. When was that? Oh, yeah. So the, the Council of Sardica was about 309. Okay. I, yes, Council of Sardica. No, it's Council of like, what yeah, was it convened for? What was it convened for? Okay. It was, it was convened. It was convened in Spain. It was a. It was convened. You know, general discussions. Was it a church council or a council of local bishops or what? It, it was a synodal council. Okay. Right. Okay. So it was. It's called the Synod of Laodicea. Yeah. And during this synod, one of the statements made was there should be no images in the church. It's not permissible to have images in the church. Now I'm pretty sure you disagree with that. If you go to a Roman Catholic church. Let's say I. We, can we just go to script? Oh, I will answer. Right, we'll yeah, we go no, back to it. We'll no, go back to it. Uh, what we're talking about is the sola scriptura model. Yeah, I, the I know. But the, the whole yeah. point, the, real, the whole reason why I'm talking about that yeah. is because it shows really when it comes to what we see of the early church from an historical critique. When we look at it from a historical critique, we don't see a Roman Catholic church and we don't see a Roman Catholic canon. The Deutero canon, in fact, is denied by St. Athanasius himself in Festival Letter 39. Did you know that? What, what canon? The, the Deutero canon, the seven books you have. Okay, they are denied by St. Athanasius in three, I think it's where well, right. it would have been around the late first right. century. Yeah. He denies yeah. it. They're the, Deutero Deutero they're the Deutero canonical books. Yeah, so the seven books that you hold to in your right. canon. They're of a lesser canon than the canon we all agree yeah, he, with. He believed that these yeah. were edifying for reading. 100% agree. And the Church of England still holds to that today. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, with I mean, right, I but they, he doesn't believe that they are canon in that they are holy scripture. You know, they're not proto canon, they're Deutero canon. Do you know what the difference Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know. Okay, right, yeah, secondary, so, yeah. So, so the Deutero canon deals with the Jewish thoughts from the death of Jesus of course, right, yeah. to, I don't know, one of, one of their councils. So they're, they're interesting to understand what they understood of things of at the time of Jesus. But they weren't, they weren't received as Holy sure. Scripture, which is what Athanasius uses right. in his festival letter 39 to determine Holy okay. Scripture. And St. Jerome in the 4th century does this as well. He right. says he wants to go, well, he says the church believes in the Hebrew truth and he lists 22 books of the Old Testament. Now, of course, we have 39, right? Right. But when you look at those 39, there's one Kings, two Kings, there's uh, one Samuel, two Samuel. 
When these books are connected, they become 22 books. Were they in the Septuagint? Um, they were, weren't they? Um, they weren't old. Yeah. They weren't so at Septuagint. the time of Jesus, the Septuagint was the only Old Testament we had. There wasn't the older one. There was the Peshitta as well. The old, Syriac, old, the Syriac test. old Testament. Sorry, no, sorry, yeah. Old yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. So, so at the time yeah, no, of right, Jesus, right. we had an Old Testament that was the Septuagint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Septuagint. And you know, the in, the, in the Bible, it says it probably would be your key for, for, verse for solar scriptura. All scripture is God breathed. That's not the, the only scripture. No, but <laughs> yeah. at that time, they believed in the deuterocanonical books because they were part of the Septuagint. Well, no, well, well, hold on, hold on. It's very important to understand. Yeah. That we've of course got the King James, which I have in my hand, which had it in originally, which, which obviously had it original. But remember, what Erasmus does? This is where Erasmus gets this from Jerome's Latin Vulgate. The Latin Vulgate is obviously being translated from an earlier text, right. earlier than even the Septuagint. The Septuagint was written by 77 Greek-speaking Jews. Sorry, 70 Greek-speaking yeah. Jews yeah. on the top of my head. Okay. Yeah. So that, that wasn't always the standard. Yes, I agree with you. The Septuagint Martin Luther was there. accepted it, though, didn't he? He did. He did. But then there's, he obviously had questions about, not the Deuteronomy canon, yeah. about the book of James. It, yeah, I, 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 so, I, I will yeah, say this. Yeah, I want to yeah, say yeah. this outright, that I'm not a Lutheran, and I'm not here to defend Martin Luther. Martin Luther had a lot of problems, and he wasn't the first reformer. In fact, we've got reformers before him. Jan Hus, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Peter Waldo, for example, yeah, and yeah. many other people before sure, him sure, who, who were sure. in disagreement with the Roman yeah. Catholic Church. John, who were not could, could I hold you on this? Could we, again, examine the sola scripture model? Well, 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 well let me finish what I said. Because right, the, 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 the reason why I'm addressing this is to hold on to the point that just even if it was the case, if I, I can grant you right now, Septuagint was the earliest translation we have. I can grant you that. At the time of Jesus, it was the earliest translation. At the time, I can even grant you that. Let me, let me say I'll grant you that, okay? I'm going you that completely. But that doesn't prove that the church itself is the available authority that, that determines what books go into that canon, how we know what books go into that canon. But it did it though. But, but here's the thing. You're claiming it did it during the third century. I'm claiming it did it earlier. And we can see that from Melito no, Sardis. No. We can see that from Athanasius. We can see that from Clement of Rome, for example. The, the, reason, the reason why I, I say you're wrong is because the earliest extant Bible we have, the Codex Sinaiaticus, right, has got different books in it. Well, Codex, Codex Bobensis has different canons as well. Okay, so, yeah. what, so what we're saying is there was not a fixed canon used by the Church of God prior to the canons of the councils of the church there, so there, there was no, there was there was yes right. because you can see that as i said to you before before right. the synod of laodicea list a canon list yes. melito of sardis in the second century yeah. before there was a council of rome list a canon list oh, well, so again right. I'm so with you i'm with you so you yeah, understand yeah. what i'm saying okay yeah, yeah. the standards of application these church fathers use okay yeah, yeah. to determine sound doctrine wasn't outside of the scripture reference themselves. Let's say I give you the Deuteronomy account. I'll give you that, that's fine. Right. So but you're it, saying that, I want to say that sentence again slowly, I want to understand. Okay. The standard right. of determining sound doctrine according to the church fathers wasn't the church authority. I'll give an example. It was Irenaeus. tradition and scripture. Well, we, we let, let, let's de let's determine. It. Hold fast to the tradition yeah, yeah, you're, 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 again, and scripture. Tradition at his time would have meant what they had taught because according to First Thessalonians, 2013, yeah. he said yeah. to the church of Thessalonica, yeah. you received what we said, you speak of the apostles, yeah. not as the word of men, but the word of God. Right. Okay, yeah. so at a time, and this is very important because most Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholics are not getting it. Right. At that time, the authority would not have been a written codex of the New Testament because there wasn't at that time. Yeah. So it would have been. Well, allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Again, you're doing, the, you're doing a Roman Catholic John, talking point. John, you're not listening. You're giving you're, you're doing, 80 you're giving Giving me a Roman Catholic John, talking point. Back Allow me to speak. John, Allow me. No, no. You're listen. You're time. literally just barking right now. Just give me a chance to actually explain what I was saying. Okay. So yes, at that time, very clear at that time. Okay. The apostles would have expounded doctrine clearly to everybody else. So that's why you've got First Thessalonians, which you're mentioning, three fifteen. Okay. That's why you can say, of course, for example, that the scripture, for example, or the, the words are to be held to. Because the words the apostles were at that time. We're not denying that. But now there is not a written canon, and now there is no more apostolic mission. And now you and I believe, as all your churches teach, that the canon is closed. What is the authority for matters of faith and doctrine? Now, your churches, you're an Eastern Orthodox, you're a Roman Catholic. Your churches cannot show me anywhere where we find the infallible words of the apostles and the prophets outside of Scripture. No, I, I agree with your Scripture.
Right. I won't give you the digital camera. Keep in mind, okay. Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic were one church then, yeah. yeah. at that time. See, yeah. See, I, I, I'm, 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 so I'm okay. asking for. So wait, you're not getting on. Do you want me to repeat to you? Yeah. So your churches cannot show me yeah. the infallible words of Jesus Christ and the apostles outside of the New Testament scriptures I have today. Okay. Why should they? Because those scriptures were theirs. Why did they need another? Because source? as I mentioned to you before, they were the authority. They claim themselves yeah. to have the authority that yeah. carries them of infallibility. What, well, they said that what John, they were teaching was the word of God. John, You're annoying what I'm saying. John, John, John. And you shouldn't <laughs> say you're barking like a what I said. I apologize. John, John, you've had, you've had, you've had a barking. big feed. You've had a big boring. feed at the moment. I've had a big feed, yeah, I've had a big feed. That's not like a fat John. No, 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 no. I'm faced as a as a searching Christian, I can take the Sola Scriptura model, which we don't find in scripture. What do you believe the Sola Scriptura is? Holding to scripture alone. No, that's not Sola Scriptura. It always has been. That's not Sola Tell me your definition. I, I literally scriptura. told you earlier on. So, tell me so when the apostles and prophets speak, first Thessalonians 2.13, and even second yeah. to be 3.16, yeah. when they speak, that becomes the defining authority in which man who is saved yeah. is supposed to explicitly give sound doctrine. That doesn't mean there isn't authorities outside of the Bible. For example, many churches that are Protestant, if you know anything about them, have creeds. For example, there's a 1689 Baptist Confession, which if you if you go to a Baptist church, you have to affirm, okay? So yes, even the Synod of Dort mentions this sort of stuff, and that's a Protestant council, so to speak. So so I've answered the question, I just mentioned to you. Sola Scriptura is, the, because the word, we, there's no apostles, and you and I agree, there's no apostles today, because there's no prophets and apostles today, the working foundation for matters of faith and doctrine is the scriptures. Right. So, How could that have existed prior to the scriptures? You're not, you're not, no, I want to understand. You didn't hear what I said. No, I you didn't hear what I said. You Bro, the you Bible didn't hear what I said. Look, John, John, did I say, listen, George, did I say Bible alone there? Did I say what he just said? That is what the scripture is. That, no, just you're just reading on. what you believe, man. Yeah, what is your you're question? question I just believe. literally answered your question. During, I'm going to be very slow here. During the apostolic times, yeah. there was no paper, no pen, you know, just... There was the church. There was the church, exactly. Yay, Thank you. the church. Who was the church run by? Yeah, yeah the church. The Who church was the church run by? The, the head of the church was the successor of Peter. No, no, no. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> You can laugh, uh, based, laugh. Okay, okay, what? based on, okay. So based, based upon on the, the Bible, evidence. No, on the, the keys of the kingdom are given to the all the apostles as well. That's Matthew 18. The, the, the keys of about. the kingdom are given. You see, you to have to apostles. assume your church has seen that. No, no, where does it say the keys are given? Binding and loosing. Yeah, binding and loosing, Matthew 18. Keys. But that was what the keys no, were used no, for no, in Matthew 18. The keys 16. are the symbol of the authority of the steward in, from Isaiah. Yeah, and the authority was to whatever you bind short will be loose. and loosing. No, hold on, I love to finish. I love to finish. Let me finish. No, no, let me finish, okay? John. It literally says in Isaiah 22, I'm correcting you. I'm correcting you. Dude, Every I'm correcting you. In Isaiah 22, on one of my I'm answers, still manning your position. I'm still manning your position. No. Isaiah 22 is what you're referring to. Hezekiah had the keys, and it says that he will lock and it will not be open, and whatever he opens will be not shut. That, that refers to Jesus in Revelation. No, it doesn't. Do you want me to show no. you? That? When he says it to Peter, when he says he doesn't say that to Peter in Matthew 16:18. The keys to the kingdom. It doesn't say that. I will give you the keys to the kingdom. Whatever you bind on heaven it doesn't say that. On do you know what binding and loosing means have you any idea what binding and loosing so means in the context of matthew 16 to 18 no, i'm talking about the context i'm talking about the context okay of matthew 16 to 18 let's look at the context binding and loosing. What does it mean? i've got a bible here i could read it out but i know it off my heart okay? but what do you think it means so jesus asked who do you say i am peter responds with you are the son of god the messiah the son of the living god Okay, yeah. that's what he says. Okay, then, in response, what does Jesus say? You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I shall, and, give, and I shall give you the keys. The keys. Um, let me finish. What do you I shall give means? you the keys of the kingdom. So, first of all, the preamble to what he's saying yeah. in Matthew 16, verse 19, is the profession. That's what even Athenagoras mentions, who's a church father, by the way. Okay, yeah. the, so the preamble was the confession that Peter yeah. makes. Sure. So that, in fact, is the keys that, that is given. So first, let's establish it. The rock of the church is not Peter. The rock of the church is Christ. He's called the rock in the Old Testament. You can read the book of Psalms for that and 1 Corinthians 10 for that. Why does okay? he change Peter's name? He doesn't, okay, he changes the apostle's name. 
Yeah. Simon, Mark, why does he say change? Hey, hey, Mark, does he change the apostles' names? Huh? No, hey, Mark, he, he no, no. change Simon's name. What does he Peter, call the apostles, the sons did of thunder? He change the name. No, no, of no, 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 no. You're, you're yes trying no. to establish a false doctrine. No, okay. I'm to in examine one, it, it, it will give a title to James and John. I wouldn't know. He does, yes. Okay. Okay. He calls right. the sons of thunder. But why would he? Identify Peter as the type of himself and change his well, name. There's various theories on this. For example, some church fathers believe, I'm just telling you what they believe, yeah, some church fathers believe that this was in reference to Peter's nature. Peter, of course, by nature was very growly. For example, Peter locked the uh, guard's ear off in the, in the book of John, chapter 18. Sure. And we know that because the Bible is very soon. What you yeah, just said is complete. It's not, it's not supposition, very it clear is. from the text. Do you want me to show you where it, it says it that Peter locked the guard's ear off? No, but the fact that his name was changed. But hold on, how does that get Simon you him? To, to Peter? How does that get you him being the rock of the what church? Does Petros, mean? Petros means little rock. Okay, so Jesus is the big rock. Peter is the little. Yes, rock. and he refers to himself so when he says, "Upon this, upon this rock, I build my church." Precisely. That's why so one Corinthians ten will call him the cornerstone. Peter as a type of. Is himself. Jesus Christ the cornerstone? Huh? Jesus, hundred percent. So cornerstone. he would be the rock of on which the church built. Yes. Yeah. So why, why, why? Uh, 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 you just answered my question no, then. No, no, no. You just no, no, no. You're you being insincere. No way. You are. Mean, you're being I'm insincere. To be sincere as you possible. literally no, are. No. You just told me that Jesus you, is the rock of the church, affirming my of point. He is, and he identifies Peter. As a small he doesn't. Rock. He doesn't identify Peter as, as a. Smaller rock. He doesn't you identify him as the rock that. of the church. You he says, upon this work, yes. the, the confession of faith. Yes. Upon this confession, the church is built. Yes. The confession is, you are the, the Messiah, same the substance. Son of God. Same substance, a lesser portion of So is Peter of the, have the same substance as Jesus Christ? It's according to, to Jesus, yes. Whoa! 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 Hey, listen! Oh, oh, okay. So forget the council of Nicaea, my brother, because this brother just said that Peter has the same nature as Jesus. Okay, so just hold on. No, 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 hold on. I ask you, I ask you that you literally you lie. Come on, okay. So does Jesus have the same nature? I said. I ask you that. I ask you that. <laughs> oh man, go on, go on, go on. We all have Jesus. That's wild, that's wild, I can't lie, that was a wild take. That was a wild take, I can't lie. That was mad. That was what? That was mad, you literally said, okay. in essence, Peter and Jesus are the same. That's what you said. No. That's what I was what identifying, let me just go back to so, no, 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 let me just finish this. So they have the no, same no, essence. Me, okay. So Peter is part of the Jesus, hypostatic union. Jesus your heretic. refers to him as rock. You'll be heretic and, and I see he refers well, that's just to the case. Peter I, I made that a little rock stone. That's yes. my point. That doesn't Jesus mean that he built that. the church upon him. You're getting it wrong. Why was the confession in Matthew 16, was verses 16 to 18. Why was Peter you're, you're, the reason why is because of his very nature. Why Even the church fathers you affirm believe that. Be bound on heaven. Even the church fathers you affirm believe that. So you, do you believe that Athenagoras was wrong? Do you believe Athenagoras was wrong when he says that the confession that Jesus Christ, that Peter made is the rock of the church? Jesus is the rock of the church. Yes. No, no, the confession. Right. You know, in Matthew, because he's quoting yeah. Matthew 16, yeah. 18 to 19. And Athenagoras says, the confession, you are Jesus Christ, the son of the, the son of God. Yeah. That confession is supposedly the rock. Do you agree with Athenagoras? I do agree confession? with it. Okay, with it. Yeah. so you can't claim, there's no room for Peter to be the, the head of the or church. Or the there is there's room not. for Peter to be a representative. Uh, most, of, most, in fact, most historical churches, other than Rome, Actually, get this. John, tell me why even the Eastern Peter, Orthodox do why, not believe in this nonsense. John, John, tell me why. So you, you, you think, sided with him, but now you, you can't even get it right. Tell me why you think Jesus changed Peter's na uh, Simon's name. I believe it's because of his nature. Just like he, just when he called James and John the sons of thunder, he called them that because of their nature. They were very, they were very bullshy. Just like Peter is very bullshy, he locked the guard's ear off in John 18. And you can see this in the Synoptic Gospels as well. Okay, because of his nature, he was given this name. It has nothing to do with him being the head of the church. But, he and, but, but here's the other thing. Here's the, the other type, thing. The type. Here's the, the most type. important thing. Because your church not himself. only believes that the, the successes of Peter will be infallible, but that Peter will have successes often. Can you show me where the scripture says that the Pope would have successors and that Peter would, would obviously have successes like Linus and Peter? believed it. They believed that, they Peter, believed that Peter would have successors and they were all infallible. The first amongst equal. And he held the seat. Oh wow, he's the first monk's equal. So yeah. that wouldn't make him the no, papacy. The minimum. Though. That wouldn't the be the Vatican II papacy then, would it? The Vatican I papacy teaches that if you're right. not submitting to the Roman Pontiff, you are outside of salvation. Was that in the early church? No. 
Okay, thank you. You, you finally agree with what I've said. But did it have to be? So is vertical one wrong? No, 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 no. Is on, vertical no. one wrong? I can is tell vertical you lots one wrong? That weren't in the George, chair. he's not getting it. Is vertical one wrong? Is Vatican One wrong? I haven't read the documents of Vatican One. Vatican One says at the end of the letter addressed by a Pope who's supposed to be infallible in, in matters of faith and doctrine, yeah. he says if, if anybody isn't submitted to the Roman bishop, he's outside of salvation. So outside of the church, there's no salvation. Is that the statement? No, 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 no. That was my statement. No, that was the, that's that what was, the church I just, understands it to be. Well, let me read it out to you. Let me I read know it out what to it you. Is. I'm just me, no, no, you're, what you're it telling is. me. You're telling no. me. Hey, Amy, have you got my phone? Let me read it out to you. Yeah, I, I know. We already established that. that? Petra and Petros, we already established that. Yeah, we, yeah. We, See, we already know about it. Kifas, Aramaic. We, we're not denying that. What, is Aramaic. Look, look, look. We're talking what about denying? what the Roman Catholic Church Why do you all Church you Protestants teaches? disagree on nearly I'm not a Protestant. Single... It's a name you guys you, gave me. What are you? I'm then? a Bible-believing, born-again Christian. You're a Bible-believing, born-again Christian. Because I trust the Word of God. Because so scripture is a so, so infallible rule of our faith. So what did the early Christians do before they had the Bible? I've shown it. What Second did the Timothy 3.16 clearly says that all scriptures God breathed, yeah. fitted for rebuke and refutation of correction, so that a man of God may yeah. be fully furnished, so perfect right? unto good That's works. The Old Testament, and it's, it's not, not the Old Testament. Testament because the Old Testament notice what he says before, literally he says it before, literally to stand firm to scriptures. And in Ephesians 4, he literally he tells his John, own disciples John, to collect text. Testament wasn't you don't know what you're talking about. It was, it was written. It was being written. It was being written. That wasn't. There wasn't a canon of the you Bible. You don't understand then. what source scripture is, dude. Do you. You don't. You if there's an apostle alive, if apostle alive, there's no the need for sola scriptura. That's what you believe. Own in, it's in not my own infallible interpretation. It's the word of God. No, you deny the word of God and would rather worship Mary and pray to saints, so which is not in the word of God so and which nobody apostolically preached, you, even in your own church why fathers. You, John, so many, why is it that your church teaches? I'm going to read this before I cook you. No, I'm going to cook it. Wait, let me let me cook you first. Do you follow the whole word of God? Let me let me cook you here. The Amy should not have be teaching. Amy should Don't tell me Amy should be teaching while you're praying to a woman and your Pope teaches that all faiths will lead to God. Your Pope teaches that all faiths will lead to God. So don't tell me about teaching while you submit to a Pope that's it's heretic. Your Pope is a heretic. Amy should not be teaching. According to what Bible verse? According to what word? No, no, hold on, hold on. According to what Bible verse? What Bible verse? Chapter of verse. Chapter of verse. Chapter of verse. Chapter of verse. You should cover your head. You should cover your head. That verse is talking about praying and prophesying. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. 1 Corinthians 11 is talking about praying and prophesying. You're covering your head. You're heretic. You're heretic by your own intuition. You know what? Get lost. Get lost. You're not even listening. George, I'll speak to you. You're covering your head, you heretic. You're covering your head. Yeah, she's not praying either, you heretic. Is she praying? Is she praying? No, no, is she praying? Is she praying? Is she praying? Is she praying? You yes, 1 Corinthians 11. Is she praying? Why did all the early Is she Christians praying? Cover their head? Show, was, show me. Show me they were covering their heads. Covering show me praying. where they were covering their heads. I'll get it next time. Thank you. You don't even have it right now. If you're going to come to this park, prepare to get cheat checked because you don't have the truth. Anyway, let me cheat check you again. Should your pope be teaching? Should your pope be teaching? Should your pope be teaching? Your pope says that all faith leads to God, and your pope also was a pedophile who followed the Jesuit order. So don't tell me about preaching. You're not a Christian. You're not a Christian standard. You follow Mary. You follow a whore demon named Mary. You follow a whole demon named Mary. You follow a whole demon named Mary. You follow a whole demon named Mary. You pray and bow down to a woman because you're about you're a beta now. I don't care what you believe. I'm not talking to you anymore because you're not talking to me. Right, George, I'm gonna explain this to you because he doesn't want to explain. No, 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 you're you're childish, you're arrogant. And, and you're going to stand here and tell me that people can't teach? Amy can teach more than your pope. pope. Your pope is a demon man. who prays to a, a demon named Mary. You need to grow up and start praying to the Lord Jesus. You, you need to be born again. You need to be born again. You must be born again. You're not born again. You must be born again. How are you born again? I need to make a call quickly, please. One minute, one minute. You're not born again. I won't speak to Mary Worshipper anymore. Go and be born again. Yes. Do you believe that Jesus is some bread? Is that what you need to believe? Do you believe Jesus is bread? Yeah, yeah, get lost. 
Deep breath. Do you believe Jesus is bread? Yeah, Jesus is bread. What does Paul call the bread then? What does he call it? What does Paul say in the Bible the bread is? What does Paul say the bread in the Bible is? What does Paul say in the Bible the bread is? What does Paul say the bread in the Bible is? Jesus says, do this in memory of me. Luke 22. Do you do it in memory of me? Or do you just do it in your mind? Do you just eat it? Do Jesus says, do this in memory of me. Luke 22. Do you do it in memory of him or do you just eat him? You're a vile creature. What do we do in memory of him? We eat the bread as You're not eating him, you weirdo. <laughs> okay, read that, read that and weep, read that and weep, read that and weep. You don't want to read your church, you don't want to read your church. Okay, then I'll just tell the camera, I'll tell the camera then. Unregenerate according to a Catholic praying to Mary, who believes in praying to saints, who don't exist, he worships a demon, and he still has his hat on his head because he's a villain. Catholics pray to Mary, a demon. Catholics do not know the Bible. He couldn't even show from his own Bible where it is. And these demons believe they can come to me and correct me with sound doctrine. Get out of your church. You must be born again. You must be born again and repent and stop praying to a demon named Mary. I'm gonna read out what his church teaches. In the Catholic Catechism, the Pope of Rome is a demon. This is what it says in their church. So then, this is your church, Colin. Amy, 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 don't disengage from them. Do you want to do it? Listen, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. It's here. It's here. Nobody can hear you, dude. Okay, Let, I'm going to read this out and cook you, and then you can watch it again. Okay, you want to listen to this? No, you want to listen to this? No, 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 I don't want to hear what you have to say. Goodbye. Okay, so there anyone says, this is his church, so anyone says that the Roman pontiff has merely an office of supervision and guidance and not the full supreme power or jurisdiction over the whole church, and this not only in matters of faith and morals, but also which concerns the discipline and government of the church dispersed through the absolute fullness of the church, let him be a curse. That's what your church teaches, heretic. Repent. And this couple here are manifesting everything. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you. you I've got a mic. Actually, I've got a mic. You do I've got a mic. Time. I've got a mic. I don't care what you have to say, papist. Go and repent. Good. Repent. Repent and receive the gospel. You're, you're a demon. This is why your church murdered women and children in the, in the, in the 15th century. Your church was demonic. It did the reconquista and it murdered tons of Christians, women and children for reading the Bible, which is what your church fathers did not do. Were those people who did that Christian? Repent and no, believe in the gospel. John, Repent and believe mice. in the gospel. May, I, I've been eating the Eucharist from your demon Mary. I mean, maybe your demon Mary, if your demon Mary wasn't in the Eucharist, maybe you need to stop dressing like a homosexual. I don't know. <laughs> if you're gonna do at home, if you're gonna do at homeless, I'll do one for yourself. You are a homosexual. You look like one. My, my friend, you've got white stuff on the side of your mouth, dude. Look, look, you're a homosexual. Look, you're dressed like a homosexual. You've been getting close it to me as well. Bible, I don't care. And, and it also inherit. says that we'll adulterers, liars, and faith. idolaters will not receive the kingdom. You you're an faith. idolater who's worshipping you know, Mary. And you've still been a demon. You've always been a demon. You need to repent and believe oh, in the Lord God, Jesus Christ. God, God. So I don't, I don't want love for you. You can go to hell. That's enemies. it. The you're Bible says, biblical. wipe the dust no, off my no, feet. No, you're not even biblical on that. Uh, okay. I'm not, what, why should I love you? You're, you you, you, you came to me, insulted me. No, 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 Show me no. where the Bible says I'm not born, born again. Show me where the Bible demon. says I'm not born again. You're a yes, because you are a demon. I'm you're worse than demon. You're not born again. You're not born again. Born again by what? How are you born again? How are you born again? When were you born again? When were you born again? When were you born again? Did you, were you born again through faith? Were you born again through faith? still in my sin. Were you born again through baptism? I know Jesus. Were you born again through baptism? born again through Jesus coming in through the dark. So why are you praying to Mary then? Why are you praying to Mary then? Why are you praying to Mary then? You born again through Jesus, but you're praying to Mary? That don't make no sense. Because the only thing the Bible says is there's one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. And your church teaches that Mary's your mediator, so you've got a full church. Go and get a better one. We do not take the words of papists as factual because papists pray to demons and they're inflicted by demons. You're not quoting the Bible. The Bible says there's only one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus, is Mary the mediator. Is Mary the mediator. Thank you.
You just denounced your church. No, you just didn't. denounced your church. No, yes, you did. The Catholic Catechism yeah. says Mary's the mediatrix. You're a, you're a Catholic according to your church. You're an unbeliever according to your church. You just need your bosses. Why don't you cut down on dressing gay and st act acting stupid? You're, you're dressing gay, dude. It's up to you if you want to wear those things. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't mind. I look better than you. I could be like like 2,000 stone, I still look better than you. you. Your Johnny, teeth are disgusting. Go and get a toothbrush. Colgate is the answer stop. for you. Your Johnny, teeth are disgusting. Stop. Leave it. Your teeth are disgusting. Johnny, what do you eat? Johnny, Sharks every day. It. You're not born again. Born from what, the devil? Johnny, leave Were you it. born out of the arse of a camel? You're disgusting. Johnny. I will. You were born out of the arse of a camel. You weren't born again. <laughs> You are born out of the ass of a camel. The Bible calls these people like you dung, snakes, servants of the devil. That's what Jesus Christ calls them. You're a son of the devil, you're a snake, you're a fool, you're a whore. And all of that is biblical. I can show you it from the Bible. <laughs> Satan, I'm pretty sure you go behind him when you're raping him, dude. Get lost. The way you're dressing, dude, I can't trust you. Look, the way you're dressing, I can't trust you, dude. I can't trust you, dude. I can't trust you, you're a bit sus. You're sus, bro. Look, close your mouth, the breath stinks. The breath stinks, dude. I can smell it from here. You're gassing the church. No, it's because he's being foul and dogging. The Bible says in Proverbs 26, to correct the fool in his folly. Demon, bro. <laughs> Cry babies, man. Anyway, I wanted to say. Um, no, no, wait, wait. I'm wait gonna can I say one thing? I'm going to finish off. Can I say one well, thing? Well, you're going, isn't it? So I've got to speak. I need to go. I need to go and get the bike and I need to take my car. Let well, yeah, that's why. Well, let me speak. Okay, let's okay. talk to her. Okay. okay. And are you going to come back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a gay dress. Could be, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. On, Look, what's wrong with dressing gay? Is there something wrong with that? Well, you're kind of suggesting the one. Yeah, yeah, he was dressing gay. What's wrong with that? Yeah, the, Look, if, if he's a homosexual, he's a homosexual. What's something wrong with that? Well, you're kind of suggesting the wrong with that. The, 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 the gay dress. I was no, no, no I wasn't suggesting there was anything wrong with it. I was saying to Amy earlier, I had a compliment about you, okay? I've seen you interviewing, I watched a video of you, and I put a comment on it, of you interviewing, interviewing two Hindu, young Hindu guys outside the Eastern Temple. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just thought it was a very positive, I was really shocked oh, how, how, how restrained you are. Do you understand what I mean? You were very restrained, you were just asking for the information from them. And it was yeah, a very... I, I don't take well to people cussing my wife and me, so that's where... Where's of course, like, that, that individual, not you, that individual yeah. that was doing I just, I wanted to just say that video... Hey there, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. That video, that video, it was like watching a different you. Oh, so you're watching these, 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 these two, these two guys. If, Again, all glory to Christ. If you think I've yeah, done no, something I, right I, there, I, it, all glory to Christ, man. I think what, the good thing about it was because you are restrained, they can, they were very knowledgeable on their subject. But whatever we think, if they're right or wrong on their belief. What? But the, for two younger guys, they were very knowledgeable, especially the one on the left. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I know he was, was very, yeah. very knowledgeable, and I kind of, you know, I, 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 I became a lot. I kind of learned a bit from just from that. Not that I went to the Hinduism, by the way, but I just thought it was like, but the way you dealt, the way you spoke to. Him, I kind of had a very different, my taking changing. Adam, here I am, Lord, send me your son. Bomb Bakla, how are you saying? Yeah, no, yeah. It's all, it's all Jesus. good. All glory to Jesus. Jesus, amen. I'm good, bro. You're live in Apologetics London right now. What do you want to say? Yo. Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. And no man gets to the Father through him. It's his faith in his blood. Not by works, lest any man boast. Oh, wretched man that I am. My good deeds are like filthy rags. That translation's better. It's menstrual cloth, yeah? So put your faith in who Jesus is. So he restored the equation. Sin came in through Adam, and sin came out through Adam, and many more were saved. So it's all faith in him that I worship Jesus Christ because it's what he's done for me. He saved me whilst I was in paganism. He saved me from demonic possession, and then I went to find out who it was that saved me. It was Jesus Christ. I give him all the glory. I give him all... I give him all the, I give him all the glory and all the praise. Christ is King. John 3.16. All right, we gotta go, man. Yeah, yeah wait, I'm gonna be back in. Message me after. Yeah, of course. God bless you. Can I meet you briefly, man? Yeah, yeah, man. Put it away, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah put it away, bro. It's where it's going. I didn't want to look sexy for these guys. Look, they didn't cover the gates, bro. Yeah, man.
Oh, how you doing? How you doing? What did you want? No, say hi to her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'm listening to you with life. I'm here, I'm listening to you. I, you know, like, I know, I know it's only when you're here. I, without a Christian like Sean, he's talking the most special like of this Christian. Like, yeah. It's like, 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 Obviously, I've, I've told you before that I think the Quran only position doesn't hold up to history. And now, uh, if you look at the history of these, of these things, yeah. But even the Quran is a revelation. You can't really see that as a historical fact, and that's the issue. Yeah, and now. By the way, it's a bit loud, so I'm, I'm trying to hear you. Yeah. No, I don't understand what you're saying. I respect your opinion. Well, you should go to a church then. If you're Christian, go to a church. <laughs> It's so much better to be a Christian. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. someone on their interpretation because there's Unitarian, there's, you know, there's still brothers, there's still... They're anti-Christ. Not in a... Not in a way no, they deny that, you know, Jesus is God. Uh, so we wouldn't... Anyway, I'm literally leaving now. I'm going... Oh my God. Yeah, no, it's live streaming. Oh, is it? Uh, no, anyway, he's basically, he's basically walking me to my bike and he's coming back. I have to go back to my kids, but... Jesus is God. No, that's what I'm saying. Jesus is the word. Like, but then we shouldn't fight about that. If someone, there's Christians who are Unitarians, I hate the divisions. Like, but it's a massive division. They're, they're not it's Christians. Like interpretation. Like, yeah, but it, it is. But it's a massive, like, it's a between. It's a massive difference between truth and falsehood. Um, but I know. Do you think God is that thing that He's going to judge someone on their capability of interpretation? Uh, I mean, I think if you're.
stable or a baby or a child, then no, you won't hold you accountable for that. But if you have the capacity and you reject the truth, then I think he would. Because Jesus says that he gives eternal life. Uh, Jesus says I'm the way, the truth and the life. Jesus says that I am the door. Um, Jesus says that he will come into your heart. He will raise you up from the dead. You know, Jesus is showing that he is God. And if we don't believe that he is God, then we don't believe he's Jesus. We believe in another Jesus. Yeah. Like, do you guys not? You no, we don't... consider them as unsaved uh, false teachers, you know. We don't believe they're Christians. Like, we also don't believe Roman Catholics are Christians or Eastern Orthodox. Uh, they worship Mary. So it's not even enough to just... Uh, they worship Mary, like Roman Catholics. We don't consider them as Christians. Um, so we would say that it's born-again believers who are Christians, people who have receive Jesus as their savior and their a new creation and the Holy Spirit of God dwells in them. We believe that those people are Christians. I'm gonna go because I have to get back for my kids, but God bless you. Oh, you too. God bless you. Okay. Right. I'll introduce it to my friend. Can you, can you, can you, you can finish. I'm gonna introduce it to Georgia. Oh, oh. What you want to film? No, I'm gonna take it to Georgia. No, you didn't, man. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to come with? Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, careful, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, you, see, you saw that, right? It was just a mad crash out. It's because the guy just wouldn't shut up. And at a certain point, I was just like, you know what? If you're going to stand there and insult my wife in front of me, there's other two things I'm going to do. Now, I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a Christian, but that doesn't mean I'm perfect, right? You know, I mean, certain points, I was like, you know what, man? Listen, say that one more time. I'm going to smash it. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm not perfect. Um, and I never claimed to be perfect either. So, I mean, I always tell people, if you're looking for perfection, look for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Simple as that. Don't look at me and think, oh, by the way, you're back. perfect. He will find you there. Like, come, yeah. let's go. So, yeah, uh, I always tell people that because it's the most true. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, no, taking it. It's her phone, isn't it? Oh, she's still keeping the bike. No, the bike. he will come back. He will come back. Oh, you're going now? He's going to take you, me to no, my no, bike. No, no, I'm taking her to my bike and I'm coming back. Without the camera? Yeah, without the camera. I'm not going to be. Uh, it's because uh, Amy's phone, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate Amy's phone. Yeah. Oh, we can use, uh, we can use Georgia's phone. There's a guy right now at the top, just in the heat of conversation with a Muslim. I told him where Jesus said, I'm the almighty in Revelation. He said, that could be a prophet. And I was just like, it's time for me to go. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if he can't even, if he's trying to be that deceitful, I can't even speak to people. I think, like yeah, there's a lot of dogs in Spanish. I think a, a verse to show oh. is about... Jesus giving eternal life, I feel like, can a prophet really give eternal life, come on? Yeah. I think there's just so much human error, you know, I'm trying to understand God, like, you know, in, in this human way, like, it's just, you need you need the Holy Spirit yeah. to allow you to uh, understand the mystery of God, you know? I think it's just, like, Muslims don't really practice that religion, because, like, that's shirk, to claim that Muhammad gives eternal life is shirk. Or that, you that see you, me, you yeah, see the Allah. you see me, you see Allah, that's shirk. <laughs> Yep. You know, honour me the same way you honour Allah. Right. What about the one that they always try when Jesus says, I'm the father of one, they bring up to like me and the disciples are one, and me and you. Oh, that's no, the, yeah, that's a different out. context. Like, the oneness implied there is not something that's eternal. Whereas Jesus in John 10, 30, when he says, I and the father are one, he's talking about eternity. Because in the context, yeah. he says, you know, my sheep, my voice, I, they, I give them eternal life. The father gives them eternal life. You know, and then he goes off and says, I and the Father are one. 
And that's when, of course, they critique him. Yeah. You know, by the very end of the verse, he says, like, the, the father judges no one, but he's given all judgment to the son. And then if you read Psalm 89, which is what he's quoting there, when he says, like, you are gods, the end of that chapter, or the end of that psalm, it literally says that God judges the world. Yeah. So there was these small judges who die like men, but God is eternal and he judges the world. Who judges the world? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Christ. Jesus, yeah, the the one. son has the father. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See you guys soon, yeah? Uh, yeah, because, are we coming back? Right. Yeah, and Jesus is the one who decides where people go, whether yeah, to heaven yeah, or we, hell. Why do the Muslims forget that? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. The Muslims forget. Oh, sorry. Well, the Muslims yeah. forget a lot of things. For example, Jesus Christ calling himself the first and last. Jesus Christ saying he raises the dead. John 5. So much stuff. But it's just not forgiveness. It's just open, just refusing to want to acknowledge the truth. At that point, I'm just like, no. A lot of Joseph oh, Smith there. Who came? The end. We came too early. Yeah. Who came? <laughs> not a, not yeah. <laughs> I've never known them to actually come at least time, though. They, they normally come like early on. We came quite early, though, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, they do the little prayers, huh? Honestly, speaker school, I didn't like you cussing that man. Look, at the end of the day, look, I, I've got in my flesh, but I was like, look, at the end of the day, the guy was just chatting crap. He starts saying things that were very rude and toxic. And that's when I was like, you know what? You look gay and your, your teeth smells, man. <laughs> because that was the truth. I smelled his breath the whole time I was there. Yeah, if you're going to be, mean... look, how I see it, look, look, love received is love gain. In a lot of ways, even the Bible says to love your neighbor as yourself. If he's claiming that his church is the earliest and the apostolic, he should have more respect than me, more love than me. And yet you see how he manifested the minute I said he's worshiping a demon called Mary, because there's no love in him. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be an elder in your faith. You should have way more decorum than me, and yet your decorum is weak, you know. And that's, that really exposes their demons, okay? Yeah, we're not going to do things 100% all the time. I keep telling people well, this. You, just like when know, Peter I lopped the guard's ear off, <laughs> just like when Peter lopped the guard's ear off and Jesus corrects him and says, you know, those who live by the door of the sword die by the sword, you know. And many instances where the apostles and the prophets will just do stuff out of whack, Jesus doesn't promise that his disciples will not do anything wait, out of whack. Can I ask you a question? But I, I mean, I don't really want to go over it because, I mean, they, uh, no offense, but there is some truth in what he said about you and the fact that you're not, you're not, you're not a, like, a teacher. But I don't, do I, teach? I don't agree with what he meant about you coming out and evangelizing because Priscilla and Aquila did that same thing. But Priscilla do I and Aquila teach, were like, but do I teach? You're not a teacher. I'm saying in, term, in these matters of faith yeah, and doctrine. Why is he criticizing me over teaching when I don't Because teach. he's demonized. He doesn't yeah. have the gospel. You know, people like that who don't know the Bible don't have the gospel. Of course, he said, he said that you should cover your head. And I was like, look, hold but on. But he, he has his head covered. <laughs> yeah, 1 Corinthians 11 literally states, you know, uh, so here's the thing, and for anybody who doesn't know, 1 Corinthians 11 is talking about situations within a church setting. The Bible doesn't say women are not allowed to speak in any given settings. How can there be a <laughs> deaconess in the church if women are not allowed to speak in every, any given settings? How can Phoebe be a deaconess? How can Chloe have a household in which she's able to invite people and she can't speak? Who should invite in? You see, here's the defining issue. Priscilla and Aquila, according to the book of Acts, okay, and according to another book in the Bible, which I can't remember, but according to the book of Acts and according to one of the books of Paul, Priscilla and Aquila were a father-son ministry. Priscilla and Aquila in the book of Acts corrected, sorry, father and son, father, sorry, husband and wife ministry. Priscilla and Aquila corrected the, um, the apostle Apollo on his doctrine, or the evangelist Apollo, or Apollos, on his doctrine. How could a woman do that if she's not able to discern or correct in sound doctrine. You see, you, people get this wrong. So unfortunately, people who are uh, unfortunately misogynistic, which I would say, Colin, will say, oh, women shouldn't speak, but that's not what the Bible's saying. I wasn't even in, doing anything. I was just standing there. You were standing there, but the thing is, the reason why I wants to do that is because he's a demonic antagonist who's Roman Catholic Bishop Mary and his own Pope both agree that all religions lead to salvation. They deny what the texts say, they deny what the scriptures say, and they don't believe in the words of Jesus Christ and the apostles. So I'll say this, Roman Catholics, I don't care. If you're Roman Catholic, watch this right now, you need to come out of this wicked doctrine. Come listen to the, the of Babylon. Exactly, listen to the earlier conversation again. Study it for yourself. You'll notice that multiple times he makes ad hominems. He, he denies what we believe about Sola Scriptura, about the apostolic witness being more important than just written text. And then after the written text, there would be some apostolic writings, of course, that we would adhere to. 
He denies the fact that prayers to saints are not in the Bible, or even in the early church fathers. He denies the fact that Mary's perpetual virginity and Mary's assumption and, his, and all these things are not biblical. So the question is, why are you relying on a church system? Why not believe in Jesus Christ? And if you're going to do that, then you're as good because as... Because he doesn't believe in the word of God. Exactly, and, 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 and this is one thing I want to say before I let you speak, okay? One, this is the most important thing, is that we treat them as we treat Muslims, as we treat atheists. Roman Catholics are no different they're than worse. Muslims they're or atheists. Muslims in Muslims fact, they're they worse. The exactly, I mean, they're worse are than Roman Catholics and Muslims. So are Eastern Orthodox, because they come in the name of a false Jesus, just like the Unitarians and the Jehovah's Witnesses. We do not bow down to no false religion, okay? So when, when Muslims come here and say we go and only go after Islam, that's not true. We go after anybody who doesn't have a true gospel and we challenge them to a discussion. If they want to start being demonic and arguing, okay, or if they want to be demonic and don't want to accept the word of God, then we leave them to their own theses and get on with what we have to do. But anyway, no, I was just going to say, apparently, according to uh, this uh, Roman Catholic, Mary worship and heretic, me and you, are going to hell because we are glutton. But the Bible doesn't say that. Doesn't the say Catholic that, Church does. The Catholic Church Because <laughs> I was asking him, where does it say that in the Bible? Well, the Bible says um, that idolaters and people who look ugly will go to hell just like him. So I mean, as well. <laughs> no, <laughs> come on. Say people are ugly, but it does say no. go to hell. But that's what I was saying to him. I said, no, it doesn't say that, but it says about idolaters. Exactly. And I, yeah. Oh, Jesus says himself, but I find them ad hominem attacks. But that's the thing, they are ad hominem. Jesus says, all sins will be forgiven. Right, in, in this world, but blasphemy of the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. So all sins can be forgiven, but blasphemy of the Holy Spirit won't. But yeah. Provided the person, what does what? Turns to Jesus Christ. You see, that's the precursor. But these people who are works-based salvation heretics who commit the Galatian heresy and who are demonized do not yet know Christ. So Colin, unfortunately, does not know Christ. And if he dies in this state, he will die in his sin. I mean, so and I would say, I would thing. say as a teacher, you know, I don't, I don't I teach as such, heaven, but I, I'm sorry, but I, I, would you agree that I have a, the God-given right to correct him? I can teach him, he's a heretic. Yeah, no, what does he have to teach me? Sorry. Yes, you can pray to Mother Mary. I told you about Like, I'm sorry, you. and I should be like, oh, yes, you're right, sir, because you're this a man, is, you're absolutely why, right. This, this is why the Bible and again, Anthony Rogers did the same thing. And I say this to all you misogynists who hate women and unfortunately do not want And I started a channel, by the way. No. It was a woman who started Outside it. Outside of the I... church. I say this to your shame. What then were Priscilla and Aquila doing? And all a the women contending for woman, the gospel with Paul that he mentioned and thanked. A man and a woman. What were they doing talking to Apollo, teaching him sound doctrine when they were women? You see, Deborah was a judge in the Old Testament. Ruth is mentioned in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Women are not denigrated by you just in favor of your stupid Mary who died and isn't really the true blessed Mary of the Bible, but a demon counterfeit who never appeared to you. That was a demon that appeared to yeah, you. Yeah, that cries blood from a, a statue. Why would God need to use this kind of signs and wonders? Mary, Satan Mary, does Mary, because Mary, he wants to deceive people. So if a statue of Mary was built in here, and it started bleeding blood. The Catholics will say that's from God, you see, because they're so deceived. They don't worship God in spirit and truth. They worship him by signs and wonders of Satan. Hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, good, you? Good. Uh... What do you believe in, sir? I do you believe in God? Of course. Which one? Which one? It's Which one? one? It's one. Not Allah. The Muslim always say there is one, no, not, but it's not, not Allah. Not, not Muslim. In the beginning, in the beginning, the humanity. No, of course, it's in the Muslim. beginning, yeah, of course, yes. Because they this, always this say is there is only one God. No, because the Muslim, they have a script. They always say Allah is one, yeah, one. That's no, that's not, Islam. Not, Allah is one. Excuse, not, not Allah. <laughs> not a, a Christian and Jewish. Everybody, everybody. The stupid guy, he said uh, another one. It's stupid. But what does one mean? Mean it is uh, uh, it's nothing, just one. When you have two, you have problem in the world. But what does Allah being one mean? Because he has a spirit, he has a word, he has a shin, you have he has everything, a life. Everything. Do you agree that he has? Yes. He looks like a disabled no, man? No, 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 no. What does he have? Does a he, chin, he a leg? Chin, a leg. No, 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 no. It's very, um, impossible. Impossible. That's what the Quran says in chapter 14. No, no, it's, you know, I, no, no. I can show you. Do you want to show? You? I show you. I show you. You're not showing me anything. <laughs> I, I show you. Uh, you show me from the. Bible. I know. I show you because you don't understand. 
He I, believes in the Quran. Be, be, forget I am so Muslim. Can you show me the Quran. Forget I am Muslim. I can't forget that because you said you were. Do you, oh, you do I not know. believe in Islam anymore? I you were Kafir now. You like me? You you were Kafir like me? Huh? Are you a Kafir like me? It's not me. Oh, no, no, I'm it's, asking. Are you unbeliever? He speak with me. Yes. Are yes. you an unbeliever? Do you believe in the Quran? Of course. Okay. So then, can you, the Bible, the Quran says that Allah has a shin, two no, right no, hands. No, no, no. That's what it says. Somebody is stupid, guys. Somebody, not all. That's the Quran. So uh, it's in the Quran. No, no, because somebody, because yeah, so it's, no, it's the chapter Quran, 69. The Quran, he okay. knows three, four uh, people in the world. What? Yes. But the stupid guys, he said like this. Stupid. Well the, well, the Quran must be stupid then, because 60, Surah 69. But now I am, because I was. Just look going, it up on my phone, please. No, no, no. But give me one. Allah Shin. Just look it up on my phone. Look it up on my phone. Okay. So, yeah, Allah's shin, Allah's right hand, these are all in the Quran. No, no, no. Allah no. has a shin, he has a right hand. I don't believe it. Well, I'm going to show you that. Will you show me. Will you, will you leave Islam if we say it? You because say it? the Quran, you have two things. When you're reading, when you understand. This is when you're reading, not understand. So, when it says shin, I don't understand it as shin. You must uh, read it uh, very well. What do you mean, uh, read it? I can read very well. Not, I don't not very well, no. Sorry about so, that. So, again, this is a problem with your God because your no, God no, can't no, interpret you have things. One God, you have Why nothing, is it your God can't interpret like things that people can read then? Why can't your God interpret things I that I can you, understand? I tell you, I tell you, has your God blinded me? I know, I know, but you know, you understand what I say. Nobody, when he read the Quran, no, is under the Quran. Yeah, yeah, 68. So beware. Um, be aware. Be no, aware. we hold. Sir. We hold. We hold. We hold. Be That's aware of the day the shin of Allah will be bad and the wicked will be asked to prostrate, but they will not be able to do so. He has a shin. He has a shin. Yeah. It says in Arabic in here. Are you going to do that on the Quran? I know, I know. And he has the hand. So if you know he has a shin, is it like this? So when I open this, right? You are the, this is Allah. You are belief. But is this like no, Allah? No, no. You are belief. I don't believe in Quran. This is like no, Allah. No, no. Forget is this like Allah? Is my shin like Allah? Forget the Quran. The, Brother, forget yeah, the Quran. You don't make no sense. Is my shin like Allah? Brother, come, come, come. Is my shin Allah? Is this Allah? No, you, is this this Allah? Is this? Just, just one minute. Just, you believe? You say Allah has a shin. Forget the Quran. Allah has a shin. Bro. Allah, Allah has a shin. The, just bro. Allah has a shin. You forget? Allah has a shin. That's what oh, it says. Okay. Allah has this. <laughs> Allah gave me this, man. Right? The Muslims, they, they become atheists when you debunk Islam. <laughs> they suddenly leave Islam when you debunk it. But anyway, we're done now. Do you want to say any final things before you go? Because obviously... That I'm, I'm going to hell down. because I'm a glutton according to the Vatican. That's it, we're going to hell. So according to um, some random papist who prays to Mary, and um, doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we're going to hell because we may have ate, eaten too much. So by his own logic, he's also going to hell because he also doesn't, doesn't eat enough, as the Bible says, to, to, to you know, fruitfully multiply. He doesn't do that. So he's going to hell. And of course, he's going to hell as well because according to the Bible, if you've broken one thing, you've broken them all. But this guy thinks he's immaculate. You see, this is the issue, right? The Bible says, judge not, lest you be judged. And people will judge every five minutes like it's okay. I say to people, say, oh, you're glad you're this. I say, good, okay, pray for me. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm going to hell because literally you are, if you told me that. <laughs> Trust me. But I don't, I don't hear that. It's just like, look, it's like a Hindu telling me I'm going to hell. Be a, be a Hindu anyway. Yeah, point, you might as well be Hindu. Faith leads to, to heaven. Yeah, according, according to, to his Pope, all faiths lead to heaven. That's blasphemy. That's against the commandments. And he himself said, and I hope you got out on camera because he said it, he said that Peter and, and Jesus are the same in essence. So, a, a, no way. No, yeah, he did. He did. He made Peter like God. Yeah. So, apparently, the hypostatic union now comprises of Peter, Jesus, Mary, and Mary. The Father, and so, the yeah. And the so bread that's, and wine in the church. So, well. that's a Babylonian <laughs> whore goddess worship. And, and he wants to tell me that I'm going to hell. Fat chance, mate. It's like a Hindu telling him I'm going to hell. Both Mary, the Father. The Holy Spirit, the bread, the wine, Jesus, yeah. and the statue. The and the statues, statues you know. And, yeah, you know, of course, we didn't forget Peter. And the dead saint world that we pray to, you know, all that stuff. You know, because that makes logical sense. Yeah, like... And by the way, you know that, that man who is a Catholic, uh, or ex-Catholic, that wants to speak to you in private. He said to me that the Catholics, they actually make the Antichrist cross, the inverted cross, they do, you know... The sign of the cross is an inverted cross. Obviously, we know that Peter allegedly 
Putin. Hey, how you doing, man? How you doing? <laughs> Allegedly died, you know, in an inverted cross, but we yeah, also know that, you know, inverted cross is a sign of Satanism. Um, so they yeah. do inverted cross. Um, um, the, truth or God, what do you mean by wolves exposing wolves? Okay, you're going to prove a wolf from scripture or are you going to tell us about wolves versus wolves? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you are talking about something else. Just explain that a bit better, man. Um, Can I respond to Psalm 22? Psalm 22, do you love the grandmother of God? <laughs> do you love the grandmother of God? Or the great grandmother of God? You know, what, what kind of thing? There is no mother of God. Yeah. There is a, a woman that was blessed. She carried God. There is no such a thing as a mother of God. And even if she was his mother on earth, a woman, you know, because I'm the mother of Jesus. I'm the sister of Jesus. I'm the brother of Jesus. As long as I do his will, Jesus said to me. So there is no special yeah, mother of God. Um, but even if there was, you know, you, you know, I don't have to love her. I can, you know, I can uh, honor her as I honor Abraham, as I honor Moses. There is no such a thing as honoring her and taking away the glory that should be for God, directed to God, to a fallen human being who died, yeah, who, you know, is, she's dead now, she cannot hear you, turn to Jesus the, Christ. The other thing is, we, got we, we do love Mary, Mary is blessed forever according to the Bible, she is a saint, of course, and she is now glorified before the Lord well, Jesus Christ. Now you're Christ. gaslighting, okay. saying we don't believe Jesus is God, you're gaslighting. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not the case, of course, Jesus Christ is God, it has nothing to do with Mary being the God-bearer, which is the term Fiotokos used in one of your councils, by the way, which you affirm. Fiotokos simply means God-bearer. In fact, Ignatius used the term Fiotokos. So Mary is the God-bearer. I don't have to call her mother of God. Show me where any of the canons say that. I don't have to believe in that, okay? The Bible doesn't say I call her mother of God. It doesn't say that. If you want to call her mother of God because you believe she's the, she's the mother of the Father because you are, in fact, a heretic, go ahead. But I call her the God-bearer, which, of course, is the title given to her because she did... Or God in our womb, okay. It's this, this was, this was me. It's not this, this was me. Yeah. Okay. It's it's fine. The camera's on me. Camera's on me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll film this side. Film this side, because like. Yeah, we're filming. We're filming here. We're filming here. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I know we were saying that. Sorry. Yeah. My bad. Um. Too far gone. I thought you were talking about something else. My bad. My bad. It happens. Because again, when you guys are in the chat. I can't always see the comments you guys are going on with yet. But yeah, look, um, papists, stop with the nonsense with Mother of God stuff because, again, that is, a, that is an error. Um, to even use that term of the I, Father is ridiculous. I also want you to uh, make a live stream about the papacy turning into, what's it called, universalism or pluralism, what is it called? Or whether you believe that, that every, all faiths lead to God. Yeah, and yeah. I... And you know, let me tell you, I've mentioned this an hour ago in the live stream, but JC from Soko is gaslighting people in the WhatsApp group for Soko, telling people that uh, uh, the Pope didn't actually mean it in that way, the mistranslation. And I can actually translate that from the, you know, the first language he said is in Italian. I can translate that and prove that he's a liar. He's deceiving his followers in the group um, because he doesn't want to admit, you know, that the Pope actually said that even though he was published in a Catholic channel, and they wouldn't be allowed to publish it if it was a mistranslation. And that's how far these people have to go. They have to lie because there is no truth in them. It's all about brainwashing and deceiving people. Yeah. Uh, it's not about truth. Yeah, and just to add briefly to this guy who keeps commenting nonsense, okay. So, yeah, we generally speaking, we believe that Mary bore God. That's the term used, theologically speaking. Okay, it's not a heresy. If you want to call it heresy, that's fine. Mary's not the God of the Father, though, and you still have to counterfact that, unless you believe there's three separate gods. So you have to deal with saying, okay, Jesus is God. Okay, Mary, you can call Mary the mother of God because Mary is the mother of Jesus. Mother of so God. you separate God, the Son, from God the Father by essence of being. That's your issue. So then again, you would commi be committing heresy. No, we just simply say that God is triune, of course. We believe the fullness of deity dwelt within Jesus Christ bodily. Mary bore God in her womb, that's evidently clear, God was on earth, but we don't call Mary the mother of God because the Godness does not come from her. And, and even, even Jesus Christ says himself, you know, speaking of this very topic, right, when, when Mary and her, his brothers and sisters come to Jesus Christ, requesting of him, he says, what does he say? You know, no, I, no, those who do the will of God are my mother, brother and sister, don't miss that, mother. So but I father, literally, literally, he didn't say father, of course, he didn't yeah. say father, but notice what he says. He says mother. He, he himself made the claim 
in his authority that you can call somebody else his mother other than Mary. That's so I can say if by your Jesus, the brother of Jesus, the sister of Jesus, by your exactly Jesus. by your logic, Mary, if you want to call her the mother of God, then you can call Amy the mother of God. You can call Deborah the mother of God. By your own logic, no, we need to stop doing that. Instead, just call her God bearer because she bore God in her womb. Accept that and also accept that she's not one you should be praying to. You should be praying to God alone for your salvation. Okay. If you want DK2023, you can have a debate with me. I'm going to be doing a stream later on this week. Um, I'm going to be doing a stream later on this week. I don't know where your key went. But yeah. So if I say, if I say according to what Jesus says, I'm the mother of Jesus... Am I being a heretic or not? And are you calling Jesus a liar because he said that? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you can you can clip me if I say that, but that's what Jesus said. <laughs> I hate Smurfs. <laughs> Brother, why do you hate Smurfs? I don't know why you hate Smurfs, man. I mean, Smurfs are quite cool. I don't like Smurfette though. I don't know why. She's the only girl there, and I'm a bit worried for the society of Smurfs. Why Smurfs? Yeah, God bless you too breathing female there mm -hmm. and she's surrounded by man them and an mm -hmm. old man she lives with and none of them else can get played how are you giving me the key smurfs should be extinct even according to their own time they should all be extinct there are no other smurf women this is ridiculous brother come on let's show yeah i mean how are they breeding dude how are, they, how are the smurfs breeding <laughs> Well, so too no, I, and I do believe that we live in the end times, according to one question, you know. But I also believe that, you know, we shouldn't think about it in that way because, um, you know, we don't know when we're going to go. We may well die before Jesus comes back. And we need to evangelize to the lost because every day people are dying and perishing. And today you could come across a person that will die soon, uh, maybe even tomorrow or today. Uh, and that's what we should focus on. People are dying every day without Jesus. Uh, and we need to be ready. Jesus is coming our lifetime, but probably he won't. I don't know. There could be signs, but I, I don't focus on the end times. I focus on people's souls, um, which are precious to God. All right. So, I mean, obviously I'm going to be going. Um, so any last questions before we go? Um, yeah, Mariology is full, so don't, don't, don't pray to Mary. It's weird. Um, don't pray to a woman. Pray to God, accept God, pray to Jesus. Right, come on. Um, no, she isn't. There's no historical reference to that. Imagine when the Apostle Paul is writing down 1 Corinthians, he forgot to mention in Romans 4 as well, sorry, Romans, when he goes on a discourse talking about, you know, Jesus Christ being the new Adam, he forgot to mention that Mary is the new Eve. He just forgot to do that and we had to get church fathers like a good 200 years or 300 years after to tell us that that's the case. Nah, we're not, we're not, we're not doing those kind of games. I, I, how, I do, how I do it is I stick people to the word of God. This is what Colin didn't like because unfortunately Colin is demonized. And you know, the, the minute you G-check these Catholics on their false doctrine, that's when they get... They have to get aggressive and had, had home on him. Look, if you think I'm fat, thin, skin, whatever, like, who cares? I, I'm not here to look sexually attractive for you. I'm here to do the work of God. I always point people to Jesus. Jesus Christ is obviously healthy. Jesus Christ right now, looking good. Not gonna lie, Jesus Christ is good. He's better than me. I'm but just some random dude. We're not gonna say how many miles, because we don't wanna give them the radius. Look, I, I, the thing but is, we, look, I, I don't- I cycled look. 15 miles today. Yeah, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to say that. Here's the thing. Amy's a bit more timid than I am. I simply tell people this. I've been at my skinniest and I've been at my fattest. This isn't even my fattest, by the way. I've been all these things and then some. And let me tell you the truth. No matter what you look like, if people want to hate you, they will do so. I remember when I was skinny and I'd come down this park and I'd be like, oh, why are you shaking? All this stuff, calling me a crackhead, calling me all this stuff. I was like 25. I was at my skinniest and that's what, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. So when people make a big hello, they're only doing it to cover their ass because they're either worshiping Mary or they're worshiping Allah. That's it. So they have to attack me because they have to go and find some escape device. That's me. Oh, look at you. I was like, okay, they're fine, but that still doesn't make what you say true. <laughs> I could, I could be an absorber lock, and still, what I'm saying is true. So let's let's okay. anyway. keep it 100. It's just like so you know racist you people saying thing? you're black, so your argument is valid. <laughs> you're black because you're so your argument is valid. Are oh, you using the race card? I'm saying there are people that would say that, yeah. No, come on, I've never heard of They live in hillbilly communities. Yeah.
But did you want to did you want to pat this down now because it looks like you need to go? Are you coming? What with you? No, you're gonna stay, I'm yeah. Do you want me to come with no, you or you stay? That's fine. Um, are you keeping the microphone? Uh, do you want me to keep them or do you want me to? No, yeah, keep them. Just take this one. It's because I need a bag to hold them in. Well, I mean, I, I can't. Well, I mean, why would I take the stand? Because I can't really use it if you're taking your phone. Are you taking the microphones? You might as well keep them. I don't really need them. Uh, you're gonna ask Sarah to film me. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, or I'll just, you know, stay for maybe an hour and then go. Because okay. to be honest, I don't really have a reason to stay here, man. Because it's boring. Yeah, there's no Bible verse that says that Psalm 22. I like your name Psalm 22, but you don't know what the Bible says. The Bible says, doesn't say that the prayers can hear us through the grace of God. No, they can't. And even if they were possibly able to do so, they can't grant us any grace. So it would actually be irrelevant. Uh, pray to God. Just pray to God. Pray, just pray to God. Just pray to God. He's, he can hear you anytime. You don't have to pray through any disease. It really is hard. Just pray to God. That's it. Why is it that like I'm getting into argument and beef with an old crusty man who's, who's telling me this and that about my soul? Just pray to God. You're in rebellion. That's it. That's what we're saying. You see, but even something simple like that, the, if the enemy is influencing somebody, then the line is stop. Can you pack this, please? Yeah, what, you turn it off? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, anyway, no, we're just uh, packing up. But yeah, we would say, look, just pray to God. He wants to know you personally. And, um, you know, okay, you can disagree with us, we can't change your mind, but I would say God is available all the time. And, uh, you know, if I pray for John and John prays for me, it's not absolutely not the same as me saying to Mary, please pray for me. No, because you're asking somebody who is above us, you know, making her like above us in the sense that she's in heaven, not here with us. Um, she can't speak to us. Um, we can't pray for her. So, you know, it kind of makes it invalid whilst God always wants to know us personally. He always wants to hear our prayers. And, um, and so we should only pray for one another in person and we should only seek God, you know, um, whether in person or whether alone or with other people, uh, we should only seek God. Um, yeah, exactly, Miss Janelle. Um, Unfortunately, the road to salvation is narrow and few. But I guess, uh, I guess people, these people who do that, they don't really know Jesus. Honestly, I've met many kind of Christians over the years, and I, 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 I will admit it, I didn't really hang out with Catholics or Orthodox. Um, but I would say I've never come across any born again believer that prayed to Mary or that people. This is just something that. Uh, Kind of, I came across the speaker's yeah. corner. Uh, it's, it's just it's something not to be done. Really like, as a baby believer who hasn't had a problem, I've never met anybody who really wants to do that. It's yeah. just a bit abnormal. And so, I would yeah. say the people who do that, they don't really know him. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I would just say this. It saddens me because I used to know Colin. Like, I, in fact, I've had a lot of people here who were friends of mine. Of course, Bob, you know, Kay, you know, um, uh, a lot of these guys. Well, my friends, including Colin, right, who are told about my baptism, stuff like that, for them to use ad hominems and mock me and ridicule me just because I tell them the truth, shows me really where their hearts were at. And this is why you don't rely on men, you rely upon Jesus. You don't rely upon men, you rely upon God. That's what you do. Because men will always let you down. You know, I, I used to be hanging out with Bob. I, I used to be JC's friend. And, you know, all of a sudden, they're my enemy now. Goes to show. Yeah, we were, he's gonna give you the, oh, the battery okay. oh, pack. Was that the battery pack you wanted? <laughs> it's only because I'm going to Oh yeah, no, he wasn't oh, leaving. I uh, look, his bike is parked there. Oh, I wasn't. I haven't got a battery pack on me. Did I put it in your? No, I gave it to you to give to her. It, no, it's in the back. Oh, that's good. You came there because he, oh, he didn't realize. Yeah. I said to you to give it to her, John. Yeah, yeah I, I just wasn't thought he was talking. coming. And it was not, no, I do you know what? I back. gave it to you. Where is it? Oh uh, no, no, it's not in my bag. It's not in my bag. I literally gave it to you, John. It's not in my pocket now. Anyway, it's here now because we had it a minute ago. It's in there. Oh. It's good you came because yeah, yeah. yeah we, I think they're calling for us. They keep calling to talk to me. 
When my subscribers are really fed up with him and they're like, yeah. no more videos, I'm like, Asman, yeah. they will know what to see you. I'm so yeah, sorry, that was worse. really an accent, Sarah. Oh, no, I understand. I'm well, I get it. Sorry. I know that. I knew that anyway. It's, it's, an it's one of those things where you're busy and you're preoccupied and you're not thinking. Yeah. I didn't think I'm that so you sorry. would leave on purpose with it. If you do have her seem in a good conversation, can you film it with your phone, please? Yeah, of course. Because I'm going yeah. home. He's going to stay with you guys till yeah. you leave. Yeah. I don't ask saints for help because they can't convey graces to me. Bless you. Uh, they can't do it. Okay. So yeah. Go but anyway, back with Sarah. Okay. I'm gonna go back with Sarah. We're gonna do this mission.